Boom me up, Jake.
Damn, so this shit crazy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You guys know we had to start it off with the blackout for the blackout stream, baby. As you guys are coming in, say what's up in the spanking chat for the one time. How's everyone feeling, family? How's everyone? What? Oh, snap. Nike app? Nike app days 918 through the 922nd vibes? Let me find out. Five days to celebrate. Sell app break. Um, let's see. Oh, well. Yeah, let's see. Join us in the Nike app for five days. Member exclusive products, $500 Nike gift card. Okay, let me find out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What? What? They're going to do a $500 Nike gift card giveaway? I'm going to need to enter up ASAP. No Rocky. But, family, as you guys are coming in, say what's up in the spanking chat real quick for the one time. It is a lovely Saturday morning. How is everyone feeling today? How is everyone feeling today? Let us know in the chat. It is a blessing to be up and early for today's stream. How is everyone feeling, family? Appreciate you guys for showing that support. And let's get it going, baby. Let's get it going. If you guys are up in here, drop the good mornings. Drop the AOs for the one time. Let's get these shout outs going, man. Doc Seuss, what's up? Kevin, what's up? We got Rusty up in the building. JVRMC says, Ayo, good morning from the EU. JV, what's going on with EU today, man? What's going on with EU this whole entire week? 
Um, did you guys end up getting those Red Cement 4s? Did you guys get the um, the J Balvin's? Did you guys get, well, J Balvin's for you guys should be for next week too, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't know if you guys got EU. Nah, you guys didn't. It was just US. But what went down for uh, EU, JV? Let me know in the chat for this whole entire week. Doxy says tactical stream. Yes, sir. You guys know it, man. You guys know it. We're live copping some good old Air Force Ones. Well, you guys are. I'm going to be passing up on the Air Force Ones terror squads. But y'all can let me know if you guys are going to be going for these bad boys all morning long. We do have a pair of of i believe polar blues going live as well to 10 a.m est if i'm not mistaken we will talk about that very very soon good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning six seven says yo what's going on man rusty what's up fam let's smash that like button for the one time please and thank you all you guys gotta do is just smash it up once and it'll be good to go. K Mac, what's up? Yo, what's up? What's going on, K Mac? Dog she says, feeling blessed. Woke up this morning and said, good. Good, good, and good indeed. Is good for resale, BB? Um, I have the uh wait, which one, Manuel? Is it good for resale, BB? I have two colors and hand. Which color? You got the baby blue and the blackout one? Um, I think for these, these are gonna be more for a personal family. For the blackouts, they should be more of a personal. We can go over stock. Uh, you know, we can go over stock and we can also go over the resale value for today for these bad boys. We're going to be talking about what went down with J Balvin's yesterday as well, too. Because, man, oh, man, was yesterday was a... I don't know. Yesterday was a bit weird, family. Yesterday was a bit weird with the EA. There was limit. These were limited as heck. For EA yesterday, but I felt like there was such a lack of EA from yesterday that we only saw very few W's. At least here in the chat, here on the streams, we only saw very, like, very slim dubs. Very slim dubs. Less than, like, 10. Less than 10 people in the chat yesterday felt like hit. It's crazy. It was crazy. Yeo Celsius says, playoff aids be here Wednesday. Nice. JVRMC says, yes, we had the Red Cement 4s this morning sold out, and the Air Force 1 TS sold out as well, too, says JV. Okay, nice. There you guys have it. Y'all should have been good to go. Now, J Balvin 3s uh, and EU, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we'll see if they'll load up for you guys by next week. We'll see. We'll see. But, congratulations on the Ws for uh, Red Cements and, um, what were they? Air Force 1s, man, for show. For show. Congratulations that W twin at Yayo. My card couldn't go through. Um, I'm away for EA in the week of a uh, yeah yeah. Which one, Rusty? Which one? Uh, which ones are you guys talking about? What up, BG? What's going on, George? How you feeling, family? So what you guys do with yesterday night? How's everyone feeling, man? There's 42,000 of you guys up in the building, so make sure you guys run it up real quick to 42 likes. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. What was the vibe for Friday night, family? I'm not gonna lie, it was just a vibe. It was just movie night with me busy tapping and trying to sleep. But uh, we did have movie night with Sophia, and then uh, yeah, we just woke up. We were planning on going out with friends and family today, so it's gonna be a long day for your boy BG. But after the stream, for sure, I feel like I'm gonna need to take like a nice little nappy nap before I tap out. Rusty says playoff eights. Rusty got the playoff eights. Nice. Sammy says, morning, BG. Good morning, Sammy. How you feeling? How y'all feeling? Sneakers kept declining my card with $1,200 in it. Shake my head for playoff eights. Dang, that's so messed up. What the heck? They didn't want my money. That's crazy. For some odd reason, they've been declining my card for Chase, which is weird. That used to be my go-to card. Chase used to be my go-to card, man. Literally. Noxu says, went to bed at like 9, 9.30. I wish my body can do that, man. For some odd reason, when my body knows that it's still too early, um, it just won't shut down, bro. It does, does that happen to anyone? When they see it's still early, your body doesn't want to shut down? Like, it's, it shows that it's 9.30 or 10 o'clock, and your body's like, uh-uh. You still got time left. You got to stay up. Even if you guys only got like three to four hours of sleep. It's crazy. I don't know how that works. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, I got Chase as well. Says Rusty. It's so weird. It's so weird. I got to let them know what's going on. I'm going to have to run Apple Pay next time. Yeah, Apple Pay works wonders, but it's just a card that won't go through. 
it's a card that won't go through, family. Um, anyone else up in here? Drop the AOS in the good morning. So let me know in the chat, family. How did you guys feel about the J Balvin drop yesterday? Did you guys go for him? Did you guys not get EA? Who here got EA? Who's one of the few people up here that took a W from yesterday? Yesterday was an insane stream, by the way, family. Thank you guys so much for your support for yesterday. I was, I was not expecting that thing to go crazy yesterday, but it did. So shout out to you guys. And we had my sister up in here too. So uh, both, sis, uh, both sisters. So I, I really do appreciate you guys for showing that support on my side of the family and also on your side of the family as well too man i really do appreciate that man that goes a long way they she was so she was telling me how this was this was like pretty cool and that she would want to tap in again so if you guys have been showing support to my siblings man they really want to come back and join us back again so if you guys want to see them more often please show them that love and support that you guys always show me because you guys will be seeing them often um before i tap out of um out of here now i'll pass out uh within 15 minutes of laying down but only if the wife is next to me if she's working nights i can't fall asleep oh snap oh snap it, it gets tough that way fam it, it gets tough that way dog because i ain't gonna lie once you get used to someone being next to you while sleeping or once you feel like you have a certain routine down it's kind of hard to let go of that routine huh for sure and oh question um family did you guys like the new format for the thumbnail now because I decided to switch it up a bit, try something new real quick. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> Let me show you guys real quick. So for the new thumbnail, right? Check this out. I've decided I'm going to drop the title of what we're going to be doing, right? Whether it's exclusive access, as you guys see here for the J Balvins, or the live cop that we got going on up in here. Um, you guys pop up the shoe from Sneakers app on the left side. All right? You guys got the Sneakers app emoji right there and then you guys got the shoe themselves the shoes themselves for what we're copping for today the main reason why we're live for today how does that look does that look way better than the uh than what we've done before let me know in the chat before we would just do the sneakers app the sneakers app emoji plus two shoes and then the title which is shock drop or live cop i think for now on i'm gonna try to adjust it where i can put the shoes, the sneakers app, and then the um, the flat out um, what what should be what we should be looking at on sneakers app. Does that does that look better to you guys? Does that look ten times better? You guys, let me know. Or would you guys prefer the other thumbnail that we were doing for a while, which is this one? This is like the format. This is the format that we usually go off of, usually. Y'all let me know. Rusty says fire. You guys are in, uh, you guys are liking it more like that or no? I, I need to know. I, I popped it up not too long ago, like yesterday. I was like, you know what? Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do a little something different. Got EA and bought them, but I think it was because I bought those $300 twos last year. You guys think it had to do with the last year drops? Kilo says that since he copped the Air Jordan 2s, J Balvin's, it seems like they gave him EA for these interesting but that's what's up man congratulations kilo this new family is clean bg keep it it's dope okay perfect 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 as long as you guys are liking it new thumbnail looks cleaner okay perfect 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 if you guys think it's better then we're keeping them for show louis says looks good awesome 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 well family let's begin man oh, let me know in the chat we do already have stock numbers for you guys ready to go but i have to ask you guys this question Air Force One X Terror Squads Blackouts. Is it a cop or is it a drop? Drop it in the chat real quick for the one time. Good morning. What are you trying to cop today, says Byron. We're going to see what else we're going to be copping for today. I mean, I'm not looking forward to the Air Forces or the Dunk Lows for today. But uh, it is what it is on that. If I see something that's going to be well worth my while for this morning on um, Finish Line or JD Sports, I'll most likely go for it. But as of today, I think I'm going to be passing on the majority of stuff. Um, how about you, Byron? Next shock drop, cherries. Let's freaking go. Anyone else agree with George? Is anyone still flipping dunks? Question marks is Doc Seuss. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you guys that are still flipping dunks for show. Um, let me go on chic real quick. Let me go on chic real quick because we do have some dunks on chic. And you guys may be looking forward to these dunks. 
You guys may be looking forward to these dunks, and you guys got panda dunks in women's sizes, and then you guys got the polar blues. Viewing the app, this is going to be an app exclusive drop, but here you guys got them right here. The polar blues, these I would consider more of an obsidian colorway to me. I don't know about you guys, but this one looks more on that bluer, obsidian, darker vibe for sure. You guys can let me know if you guys are going to be snagging these up for the one time. It's going to be a draw, so that's going to be only on the app. Make sure you guys download the Sheik app so you guys can be tapped in on it for show. I love Fat Joe, but this is a pass, is Louis. Um, I got exclusive access on the J Balvin 3s and didn't go for the 2s, cop to size 10 for my son. Shout out to Izzy, man. Congratulations on the W for the J Balvin 3s, baby. That's what I love to hear. For the little one, that's what's up, baby. That is what's up, man. Byron says cop. I actually must cop, says Eric. Um, Doc Sue says drop. McDaniel says drop. Anyone else? Keep them coming, family. R V Terror Squads a cop or a drop for today. Crazy kick game with the cop. Let's freaking get it. Um, Dunk Dammer Retail now. Dunk Dammer Retail now, says Louie. Them dunks are clean, but passing. Uh George, what's up? He said it's a daddy pan uh it's a daddy panda. What, this one right here? Red Panda Dunks dropped early this morning. Did they really miss them? Um, where did they drop at, George? Let us know in the chat. How early did they uh, did those drop? We're finally seeing Red Pandas up and available. Your boy must have been sleeping, sleeping. Again, remember we started up our, uh, we start up our streams at five o'clock in the morning, so we need all the rest we can get for our days. That's the rumor for next month. Cherry Twelve Shot Drop says Rusty. Cherry Twelve Shot Drop, huh? Well, we already know about the playoff eights. So, Cherry 12. Let's see. We'll pop this up for you guys. Cherry 12 shot drop. I'm assuming if... I'm assuming... Bump, bump, bump. Shout out to Sniper. I'm assuming... That if this bad boy, if, if playoff eights were a sellout for a shot drop, I'm assuming that these will be an instant sellout as well, too. Louis says drop. Rob says add George. I got my pair last night. Size 12 says Rob. Sneaker Politics says George. Shout out to George. So Sneaker Politics dropped them early, early from what it seems like. So I'm assuming if playoff eights were a freaking sellout, then Cherry 12 should be an instant sellout as well, too, right? I feel like the Cherry Toes might be a little bit more hyped up than the Playoff 8s. Y'all let me know. Is that is that facts or not? Flex T, what's going on? I had Cherry Toes when I was younger. It's a pass for me. Too many white and, um, it's too many white and red shoes, says Louis. Okay, I feel it on that. Cherry Toes for your boy BG is not so much upon, like, you know, Muscoff. But, yeah. Pretty sure the red pan has dropped around like 11.30 last night, says Doc Seuss. Interesting. Last night? Crazy. Or it could have been early morning, depending on where you guys are at. Depending on where you guys are at. I'd rather have flu games, but uh, those are cool too. So you guys rather have flu games than Cherry 12s? I mean, listen, at least we're getting some, some. Cherry 12s. Images. Let's see if I can show you guys some images on these bad boys. Images. Do they not have the cherry? I'm curious. December 2009 though. Damn, there's no images of 2023 or what? Cherry 12, 2023. Nice kicks got them. Sets a release for holiday. There we go. Three PM EST to nine PM EST albino dunk raffle today. Hey, there we go. Shout out to Danny on that one as well too. Look at that link right there. In case you guys are aiming for albino dunks, there you guys got it. We got our first link right there. Hold up, let me drop you guys replace message. There you guys go. That seems to be the most important thing right now. I don't see them twelve sitting, but twelves don't get a lot of love either. No, they don't. And as far as for me, I don't really give them too much love either because I'm not a fan of that silhouette. Not as much as other silhouettes, at least. 
Do you feel like 12s will be a tough cop? Question mark. Depends on the sizing, bro. I think the bigger sizes are going to be always a tougher cop. But uh, the small size should be an easier one for sure. The cherries get more love than the eights. Cherry 12s is a must cop for me. Size 8 game. Flu games over the cherries. Um, if I buy a 12, I feel like I have to play basketball in the mail. It don't feel like a fashion shoe for me, says Louis. Well, these right here just don't seem like a basketball shoe either. They seem very bulky. Seem very bulky. I don't know how people can run it up with Jordan 12s like that. I mean, I've ran it up with foam pots to play who uh to, to play ball in, but damn, these these right here look these right here look like I don't know. I don't know. I just can't see myself rocking 12s to play basketball and they just seem very bulky. I don't know how you guys did it back then if you guys did do that. Playoff age just shipped last night and supposed to be here Sunday. Plus, my baby blue terror squads just got authenticated yesterday and shipped out as well. There we go, SK. Congratulations, run. Let's freaking run it up for SK for them freaking Air Force Ones. Um, what were they called? The Purpoise? Let me see how much those are doing in the resale market real quick. How much you guys cop them for? I believe the Purpoise already dropped via exclusive access, didn't they? What are they? Terror squads. These are the loyalties. Is that what it was? Were they called the lo uh, the loyalties family? I think these these could have been it right here. Add the reverse cherries. I'm putting them up on eBay. Says George. Jeez. Got my second pair of red cements yesterday. My personal pair of unions the day before, and the atmosphere gray lows the day before. My brother, um, we sleeping on those uh, we sleeping on those lows. Family quality is really nice. Anyone else agree with Jay? Let me know in the chat. He's been picking up a lot of low ones, man. A lot of low ones, from what it seems like, huh? Abby G, it must be uh, it must be cold in the house. Says Larry G, definitely, fam. You guys do know that we got the AC on every single morning, man. So it's definitely a little bit on the colder side for sure. Not to mention every morning that we start off the stream, it's pretty, it's still pretty dark out. So the sun is not out. So, you know, it's pretty chilly. If you start to be like in the low, I think it'd be starting to get in the low 50s. Low 50, high 50. So it's a little bit on the chillier side up in here in the West Coast. BG on Monday, there's a floor, uh, BG on Monday, there's floor dunks dropping on Nike app. I'm excited. I want a 12 W says Bormero Fives. Thank you guys so much. So what are they? Let me see real quick. You guys said that they got floral dunks. Dunk lows. Let's see real quick. Sorry, family. I got to pick for gold real quick because my buggies are coming out. Okay, floral dunks, where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Ah, the next natures. These are what you guys are talking about for Monday? Let's get it then. I guess we got a drop for Monday as well too. I've never seen these before. I've never seen these before. They got the phantom slash light magenta pink. Never seen these before. It's pretty a dope concept. I'll probably end up passing. I just think it's very much on the feminine side for your boy BG. I'll probably pass up. But if anyone wants to run it up, let us know, man. Hey, yo, BG, how's the family NYC with the Hurricane Lee? Question mark. Um, see, I just spoke to Mom Dukes yesterday, so she seems to be doing good. Uh, I haven't heard anything about any effects with the hurricane. So nothing, nothing bad on my side. Nothing bad on my side. I should be back within a couple of days. I should be back within 14 days. Within 14 days, I'll be back in NYC, family, to the studio so we can run up more streams and, like, you know, locked in for even better um content so um yeah I, I haven't heard too bad about the hurricane so we should be we should be pretty good but i'll let you guys know any updates that i hear quality might be good but i ain't copying anything i don't want or need sammy says i got ea for the travis gods and they came in yesterday really nice clean pair yo 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 what's good bg what's going on pz such a pretty shoe of course it's feminine bg i wear heat for the ladies not to attract the bro says vermero files let me find out let me find out okay i see what oh what we got in that aaron okay aaron got game let me find out reminds me of the n7 sbs and that's a fact too that's a fact too they kind of do somewhat look similar but it's got its own different vibe to it as well too for sure 
Carne, what's up, man? Carne asada. Let me find out you guys are like chefing it up in carne asada, man. That, last time I had carne asada was like last week, I feel like. Mad good. The barbecues be going crazy here in the West Coast, man. Um, let's see. Fat Joe is up in the building as well, too. Let me find out. Fat Joe, you going to go for the Fat Joe Air Force One Terror Squads? Who here tapped in with Fat Joe back in the day, family? Let me know in the chat. I was probably too much of a Gerber to like, tap in with him, but let me know who is tapping in with the Air Force Ones and who tapped in with Fat Joe back in the day. We're talking about, I guess, the 90s or 2000s. Is that what we're doing? No effects from Lee and NYC, says Sammy. That's a blessing. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard anything about uh, Hurricane Lee for NYC, so we're good. Resale for these joints going to be nice, uh, question mark. For which one, Chief Lee? Are we talking about the Air Force Ones? Are we talking about the Nike Dunk Lows? Um, the Polar Blues? Are we talking about the Floor Ones from Monday? Let me know in the chat what you guys are aiming for. Let me know. I think for the majority of stuff that we're going to be seeing here, it should be more of a personal except for the Polar Blues. Polar Blues will be dropping today. And I think Polar Blues will be more of a personal. Oh, no. I think Polar Blues could be a, a flip-flip. It could be a flip. It could be a quick flip only, though. 138, 151, 139. It's not looking too well either. You guys may have to do things in person, if anything. In person. But not enough, family. Not enough. I think resale is very much dying down for some of these silhouettes. DITC, best of fat Joe says Outbad. Outbad, what's up, family? Flo Joe, you gotta, 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 gotta let him know, Joe. <laughs> Definitely was rocking with Joe since Jersey. What since Jealousy at Ones and V says Doc Sue. See, I couldn't even remember that. What year did that come out? Good morning, BG and family. Francis says Polo Blue there, uh, not the UNC Dunk. The Polo Blue there, not the UNC Dunk. Yeah, Francis, so these are not so much UNCs. These are very much polar blues, but they have close resemblance to the UNCs for sure. I would consider these still uh, a UNC dunk. I would still consider these a UNC dunk. Just a different tint. Sammy says, no, sorry, not Travis Scott's Terror Squad loyalties, says Sammy. I've been waiting for these Air Forces since I was a kid, so it's the W of trust for uh, W. Uh, w must for me. So as far as for these Air Forces, it seems like you guys were talking about these Air Forces dropping a while ago. Is that true, family, or no? When's the last time we see some Terror Squad Air Forces drop? Is this the first time, or has it been since, like, a while back? I heard some of you guys talking about these bad boys from a while back. I just can't recall what it was specifically, whether it was an Air Force one or not. Francis says 99. The best of Fat Joe, um... The best Fat Joe song is um, I Make It Rain on the uh, on These Hoes, says Vimero 5. Apologies on the uh, on the on the word family. Uh, Joe came out early 90s. I feel like it was like 97, says Doc Seuss. Interesting. Shout out to Wilson. Shout out to Frank. Sam, shout out to Sammy. Shout out to PZ. Shout out to Vimero 5. Is anyone going to go for the Black Cement 2s? Curious who is cop and says PZ. It's been very quiet for those Black Cement 2s. Have not heard too many people talking about them. Been very quiet. Shout out to the 85 up in the building. Christian says, where are the Polar Blues dropping? They're going to be dropping on Chic App, family. So if you guys don't mind, make sure you guys download the Chic App so you guys can run it up top of the hour for the drops, baby. And as you guys are coming in, if you guys don't mind, smash that like button. And uh, we're running it up for top of the hour drops, baby. It's going to be a shorter stream today. Yesterday, we did camp out for the EA. But uh, today, it's just going to be for 10 a.m. drops and then... Um, that'll be pretty much it for us. Uh, very much of a vibe throughout the whole entire week. I feel like this week came out to be somewhat of a decent week after all because we did feel like it was going to be a quieter week without anything being loaded up until like last couple of days. We got something loaded up for what Thursday, Friday, and uh, we got something for Saturday. So I think uh, I think it was a very decent week for this um, for this week. I I could say. Nothing too crazy, but we still got something. We got shot drops, we got EAs, and we got set releases. So not too bad. And then next week, it should be even better, I feel like. Next week should be a bit better. But we can talk about next week on Monday. But yeah, I think we got 
the second chances for Jay Balvin's for next week for sure. And I know that was a big deal for us yesterday because it seemed like um, there was a heavy amount of people on the streams from that. So um, I think Jay Balvin's are going to be an, an even tougher drop for next week. From what it seems like. And we got low stock for J Balvin's too. I think they got total stock for J Balvin's. I kid you guys not. I know for a fact it should be less than 50K. I heard something around 42,000. I don't know if that's with stock that we saw from EA. So give or take what? We got 30 to 40,000 or so. Um, not a lot. Not a lot for the J Balvin's. So these should be a tougher drop for sure. Not to mention we should see them on his site as well too. So we can go ahead and live cup on his site and on Sneakers app and wherever else they're going to be having them up. We'll have the links ready to go and we'll go live copping for them too. So you guys don't miss a beat. Everything for free up in here for show. Um, Fat Joe Don uh, Cart... I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Chancho. Fat Joe Don Cartagena. Uh, I can't pronounce that. Cart Cartagena. Cartagena? Cartagena? Is that how you pronounce it? Album from 98 is The Heat. Romero Fox says, I want pullers for Chic in store today, but I don't really want to pick them up. Feeling lazy. Damn. If you guys are feeling lazy for polar dunks, then that is crazy. I feel like if this was last year or two years ago for polar dunks, y'all would be grabbing these up like hot cakes, family. Like hot cakes. Crazy how we have two 10-minute draws on the 23rd. Nike bugging, lol, says PZ Meds. Wait, hold up. What else is dropping on the 23rd? What else is dropping on the 23rd? Hold up. So the 23rd is J Balvin's. That's all I got for the 23rd. Oh, snap. What the heck? Hold up. The albinos are dropping the 23rd as well, too? What? Nah, something's going to get pushed. There's no way they're going to be dropping J Balvin's and the Albinos at the same time. Who else agrees? The Albinos and J Balvin's on the 23rd is crazy. Something's going to get pushed. Something's going to get pushed, family. I was jamming Fat Joe and Big Pun yesterday and beat nuts. Uh, there are a few raffles up for the Balvin's right now, says PZ. Yes, yeah, so if you guys don't mind, drop the links in the chat if you guys have them already. And if not, we can just wait for next week to drop them for you guys as well, too. Good morning, BG, BG Mods, and BG Family. What's up, Chris M? Family, we do have 89 of you guys up in the building. If you guys don't mind, smash it up to 100 likes so we can pop up these stock numbers for the Air Force One Terror Squads real quick. We already have them nice and early. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to our mods up in here. Please make sure you guys smash it up so we can calmly tap in with the Air Force One Terror Squads um, stock numbers, babe. Black Cement 2 shouldn't be that hard to cop. It shouldn't be hard at all. If it's a Jordan 2, it should be pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, but then again, I said the same thing about the Chicago 2s. Nearly got, nearly got an L on them, says Outbad. Again, we should be seeing plenty of restocks for those Jordan 2s, man. Plenty of restocks, for sure. Larry G, got, you got to break it down for him. You guys definitely do, family. You guys do know the pronunciation is, like, terrible up in here. Car, it's Cartagena. Is that what it is? Cartagena? Ew. Is that, was that the title of his album? The Cartagena? Cartagena. There we go. Is it Cartagena? Cartagena or Cartagena? Cartagena? You guys may have to do it. Good morning, family of mods and BG Kicks. What's up, Blue Widow Spider? How you feeling, man? Jordan 1 Korea dropped this morning. Did they really? Let's freaking go. J Bowen Raffle social status. Shout out to Danny up in there. Don Tagina. Um, how, how the heck... Uh, do I hit on the Kobe Halos and not the Jordan 8s, says Francis. Just one word, man. Luck. Luck on those Kobe 8s, family. Luck on those Kobe 8s and then not lucky for those uh, playoff 8s. It's kind of crazy how that goes. Cartagena. Is that what it is, Deleon? Vega, good morning. Good morning, Blue Widow. Man, just F it at BG, LOL. <laughs> says Ilgina. Cartagena, there we go. You guys got to spell it out like Deleon, man. You guys got to let me know like that, man. You guys got to really spe spell it out. <laughs> Y'all got to really spell it out, man. XJ, what's up, man? Good morning, my family. Good morning, family. Keep on smashing that like button. And guess what? It's a Saturday morning. I know you guys are feeling a little lazy. Hold up. I got you guys. I know you guys are feeling a little lazy. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. 
Pop this up. Ooh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at these beauties right here, man. Let me know in the chat real quick, family. Let me know in the chat if the ja the Jawan's Halloweens are going to be a cop for you guys. Hold up. Those Jawans, whenever they do drop by next month, man, that's looking extremely coppable, boy. Extremely coppable. October 2023, Nike Jawans Halloweens. These look like they glow in the dark, too. Oh my gosh, De Leon. Alma Manier, J Balvin, Raffle Link. Shout out to Danny. You guys see those links by Danny? Man, make sure you guys click on them so you guys can tap in for the J Balvins if you guys missed out on them yesterday. We did see some W's yesterday for the J Balvins for sure, fam. Blue Widow says passing. Kind of want those uh, Halloween jaws. If it, it depends. If you guys are a hooper, if you guys are a hooper, if you guys like playing basketball, this is definitely one of those must cop. Well, not must cop, but it's those cooler cops that you guys want to want snag up for you guys, for sure. Not to mention, job ones are a bit more on the affordable side as well too. I love that 110 bucks price tag. I love it. Please don't switch it up. Please don't switch up that price tag. Though job ones are one of the more affordable sneakers for basketballs to drop right now. I think that's one of my favorite things about them too is that price tag. Very affordable. These are cheaper than dunks. These are cheaper than SBs. These are cheaper than some dunks that we see. These are cheaper than the polar dunks that we're seeing drop today. Polar dunks are dropping for 120. Look at that. 110 definitely beats 120 for show. Jay says pass. Chris M says pass. I've been having issues signing in with my uh with EQL. Hopefully they fix it soon, says PZ. Anyone else? Pass on the job ones. Uh those look like Raver shoes, not Halloween. They look like the Grinches. I'd rather have LeBron Grinches. I'd rather have the Kobe Grinches. Screw all that, man. I'd rather have the Kobe uh, Grinches. Halloween Jaws, not bad. Look like Kobe's. Look like Kobe. I don't even compare these to Kobe's, to be honest. I don't know. That's just me. If anything, I compare these more to um, to Kyrie's. I, I feel like these look way more like Kyrie's than they do than Kobe's. Or a mixture of both, you feel? A mixture of both. Larry G says Halloween John not bad look like Kobe's um but yeah that's what this run right here for the one time I would definitely cop for the one time for Halloween vibes for sure I don't know if I would be rocking them year round though I feel like anything that's considered a, a Halloween shoe would be a cop for like October vibes only that's just me though that's just me though and then we also have a pair of Air Force ones that are in the Halloween phase too right Halloween. Air Force One. Let me see real quick. These bad boys right here. Hold up, fam. There you guys have it right here. I seen them somewhere on the internet. I forgot where exactly I seen them at. But these are the Halloween Air Force that we should be expecting for this upcoming October. Y'all can definitely let me know if these are a cop as well, too. I'm not a fan of them like that. I guess I got to see them in person to really analyze them and stuff. Sometimes, you know, these shoes got to be seen in person for you guys to actually observe them and see what the vibes are. But how about these? If not the John ones for Halloween, so did you guys mess with the Air Force One Halloweens for this one? Any stock numbers for the TS tra uh, Air Force Ones? Yes, we do have them, Delion. We're going to pop them up very soon after this one for show. Good morning, BG. Good morning, Jose. They look like PG-13s with, uh, with that mesh toe box. I like the Dunk Mid Halloweens. What up, B Jizzle? Trying to check in. Uh, between these jobs this morning shout out to craig up in here man if you guys are working on a saturday morning shout out to you guys on the grind man and if you guys are taking a breather for today saturday it's your first day of the weekend man just chilling vibing man congrats you finally made it to the weekend man make sure you guys run it up with some good old ufc fights enjoy time with fans uh with friends and family and uh just enjoy your freaking weekend man you guys did it you guys made it you guys worked hard it paid off and for those that are still grinding man congratulations you guys are making money. You guys are running it up. And um, I hope you guys nothing but the best for this Saturday as well, too, as you guys are grinding. Number of stuff for Travis Scott. Um, I keep saying T. I see TS. I see TS, and I think of Travis Scott. My apologies, family. It's Terror Squads um, about what? Zero stock? Is that what it is? Number of lies. Zero stock. Let me find out. 
Let me find out. And I think Deleon got pocket blocked by accident. Shout out to Dez up in the building. I, I should have unblocked him right there. Deleon, let me know in the chat if you got if you can comment real quick for the one time. But here we go, family. We're going to pop you guys up some nice little stocky stock. Um, hold up. We do Insta. And let's do the little stocky stock real quick for the one time, shall we? Sent photo. I'm pretty sure this should be the stock. And yes, sir. We got about 53,000 pairs going down for the Terror Squads. Not a lot, but I'm sure you guys should be seeing these around your guys' radars for different stores as well, too. Um, if you guys do have different stores for the Air Force One Terror Squads, let us know in the chat. But this is what it's looking like for Terror Squads. Yes, sir. Let's get it, baby. Where are the Polar Dunks dropping, says King Draco. They're going to be dropping on Chic. That's the vibe for today. Deleon says, hola. Okay, you're good. Dez over here pocket blocking. Yeah. Um, I'm getting ready to get my, uh, my myself up and head to work after a $1,000 sneaker week. LOL, says Wilson. Jeez. You guys been spending money like that, huh? Let me know in the chat what you guys cop throughout the whole entire week. What's the recap for cops for this week, family? <laughs> Larry G says lies, zero, 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 zero pairs. He doesn't believe in stock. That 4.5 seems like there's zero stock, so if they load up with nothing, yeah, we'll definitely see if that's tra uh, that's cap or not. The only one says stock is slim. It, it is slim, family. It is very much slim, but surprisingly, resale's looking low, so we'll see how that goes. If resale's looking low, it should be a little bit easier for you guys to cop, but yeah. Um, Shorky says, I hoop and carry. It's definitely a mix of Kobe's and Kyrie. Morning, BG. What's up, Shorky? How you feeling, brother, man? Man, I was seeing you guys, though, those comments yesterday for, uh, my sis yesterday was, uh, I, I appreciate those for sure. You guys were, uh, hitting up on, uh, BG version of a girl version, huh? Y'all were, y'all were hitting up the girl version of me yesterday, huh? Crazy, 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 crazy. I'm surprised, to be honest. I thought I wouldn't have been y'all types, but it is what it is, man. I seen those comments yesterday. I had to rewind. I had to check. I had to check to see who was who was tapping in with my sister on that type of time, and I was like, hmm, better better watch out. Better watch. Nah, I'm playing. Uh, what's up, Shorty? What's up, Deontay? Happy mornings, fam. Happy mornings, family. You guys know it, man. It's a blessing to be alive on a Saturday freaking morning weekend. We did it. Fight night today. We got some UFC going on today. We got. Who's um uh, who's in the main card for this week for this weekend for this fight night? You guys got what Alexa Grosso versus Valentina Shevchenko? Is that the main event for today? Is that the main event for today? I think it's like Span Noche no, like Latino no, night or Noche de Latinos or something like that for today. So I think they might be in like Mexico. I think I'm not so sure. Wilson is laughing. He's like, LMAO. What's y'all favorite hoop shoe of all time? Question one. Mine has to be the PG6s from last year or the Curry 4s uh, Floatro. Both are so good on the court. Mine's got to be either the Kobe 8s or are they the Kobe 8s or Kobe 9s? It's one of those two. Um, LeBron 20s seem to be it for your boy too. And then you guys got, what else? What else? What else? What else? I mean, I've hooped in... I've hooped in Jordan 13s, but I don't know if I would consider that one of my favorite hoop shoes, but definitely the most the most comfortable Jordan out there for sure, in my opinion, are those uh, 13s. Shout out to the 100 up in the building, family. If you guys are tapping and showing that love and support, ask questions if needed, family. I didn't know that the, uh, that the stream was a little bit on the crop side. Let me see if I can move this Air Force One real quick so you guys can see it fully. So you guys can see it fully. Because right now it's looking like a Panda Air Force One without the TS on the side. So let me see if I can do that for you guys so you guys can see the TS. Make sure that it's not a Panda It's not a Panda Air Force. It's a Terra Squad Air Force. You feel me? Um, good morning, Des. How you feeling? Uh, she says, Adelion. I apologize, honey. I actually fell asleep and must have hit some buttons, says Des. Oh, snap. You guys, are you guys are falling asleep on the stream, fam? It's that early today, huh? It's one of those days, huh, fam? It is a Saturday, family. Yeah, it's in Mexico, I believe. Are you guys watching anything going down for this Saturday night? Is it football night today as well, too? Let me know in the chat. Are we watching football today? I'm not so much tapping in with football today. 
El Mio BG, the resemblance was crazy. If you guys think the resemblance is crazy online, you guys got to see it in person. It just hits different. It hits different. We get it all the time. We get it all the time. Last couple of weeks, I copped the Red Cement 4s, Playoff 8s, Loyalty TSs, um, Air Force 1s, Supreme Dunk Lows, Udos, Chicago 2s, Palomino 1s, Union 1s, and Off-White 5s. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is insane. You guys got baller money right now. How about anyone else? Did you guys snag them up? Did you guys snag up anything from the past couple of days? That's a huge price. Now, that's at least like... I'm going to say like a good like 2K from what it seems like SK spent. I think some of those were from resell. Right, um, SK? You hit on Supreme Dunk Lows on GOAT, if I'm not mistaken. So that was a pretty price tag right there. No one hoops? Question mark. BG, the only one that answered that. LMAO says Jay. <laughs> Deontay says college football for sure, says Deontay. Nice. Who's playing for college football? Big NCAA games. It's supposed to have a good leather. I have seen this shoe in person. If anything, like Kraft Air Force One, it's worth a cop, I think. LOL does. I feel like we've done. We've all done that at some point. I feel like that's like you guys. You guys have to expect a pocket block here and there when it comes down to mods, because I I feel like, I mean, like I said, well, even I would uh, probably fall asleep too. Like sometimes tapping out on a stream or tapping out on a podcast. Doesn't it, like, calm you? Doesn't it, like, just have you guys feeling, like, some type of, like, just a chill vibe? Like, you guys got company. You guys start feeling a little bit on the relaxed side. You know, you guys got your errands that you guys are running, but you guys are still feeling relaxed. You're, like, a little bit on the tired side. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're feeling a little tired. Your eye, uh, your eyes start feeling a little heavy, and you start, you just start, and by the snap of my fingers... You guys are falling asleep. Now, listen to my voice. When you guys are listening to my voice, you guys are going to think about Terror Squad Air Force Ones. Everyone up in here will be copping Air Force Ones by the snap of my fingers. You guys are waking up. Wake up. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. You guys have just been hypnotized without even knowing it. Um, now, I'm playing Imagine. That's how hypnotized... Yo, I'm not going to lie. That's how they be hypnotizing people up in there in the stages. I'm not going to lie. I've seen that happen before, and I've heard of people being hypnotized. I don't, I've never been hypnotized before, or I've never, I don't know if I believe it or not, I'll be honest with you guys, but that's how it'd be, it, it'd be like, when you know, they're just talking, and then all of a sudden, they get into their groove, and just start catching you, like, last minute, they start catching you last minute with that snap, and all of a sudden, you get caught, you get caught, um, let's see, Doc Seuss is laughing, you trying to hypnotize us? Low key, I tried seeing if I can pull it off, but I'm I'm not good at I'm not good at hypnotizing. I'm not good. I'm not I'm not that good at it, but I try. Oh, and the Shrek Crocs says Deontay. Oh, you guys cop Shrek Crocs. Apparently, it should be a long term hold for those Shrek Crocs. You guys, let me know. Only thing I copped were the Luca Twos, Lake Blood, the Unico Black shirt, and the Pokemon shirt. Nice. Deontay went for the Santa Cruz. Anyone go for the uh? For the Santa Cruz X Pokemon, um, the decks. Did you guys go for the decks? I feel like we spoke about them, but not many people, um, not many people told me what they got, what they opened up. Did you guys catch anything? BG uh, went straight to hypnotize mode. Says Doc Seuss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. PZ says you're funny, bro. <laughs> oh damn, BG. All of a sudden, I want to buy the trap. Uh, why do I keep saying Travis Scotts? Damn it. Um, the Terror Squad Air Force Ones. There we go. That's the trick to it. Hypnotize. That's what streamers got to do, man. They, they low-key start hypnotizing people to start copping shoes left and right. I got finessed on Supremes. I ain't going to lie. I thought they was going to stay up. SK, you didn't get finessed, family. You just... You just... I, I would say you overpaid um, from buying them too early. That's all. That's all. I don't think it was finesse. Um, I think you just really wanted the shoes early and you were willing to pay that price cut. That's it. That's it. For next time, give it, give it, that, that 700 price tag was mad high, fam. For next time, or that, I think it was somewhere around that 700 or 600 or something. Gotta give it some time, fam. Gotta give it some time. Like, the day before the drop would be the perfect time frame for them. The day before the drop. I feel like you caught them like three weeks before they, they were even going to drop. Like, that was way too early, I feel like. Man. 
But listen, at least you cop them, and uh, at least you know you're a size 13, right? So those are tougher sizes to grab up. You, you, it, it's sometimes, it's sometimes a little a little sketchy copping them before the drop. They could like just skyrocket before then. I paid 380 for my 10.5 on eBay. Nice. 700 as well. I don't know if it was 700. It must have been lower than that. Must have been lower than that. I might have been dragging it with the 700. I think it was someone else that copped them for like 700 a while ago. I bought a size 15 in Supreme Lows. Now they were worth like over two grand to six, seven. Sheesh. 760 with taxes, SK. 760 with taxes. I paid 600. This is always a, a tongue twister for me. I paid 600, 6, 7, says. Um, Wilson says, I paid 380 for my 10.5 on uh, eBay. And that's most likely after the drop, right, Wilson? You copped your pair after the drop? Yeah, that size is pretty high, says Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys got to play it safe with those bigger sizes, especially if you guys are size 12, 13, 14. You guys definitely have to play it safe. For sure. Shout out to the 95 up in the building family. And like I said before, if you guys are aiming for those albino dunks, shout out to Danny. There's going to be a raffle going live at 3 p.m. EST. EST family. So make sure you guys tap in on that one for show. I know if I was back in studio, I'd be live for that one for sure on a Saturday. But since I'm not in studio, it's going to be a little bit tough. It's going to be a little bit tough. I don't know what I got planned on going with my friends and family today. So it's definitely going to be a little bit on the tougher side. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I could go for for you guys right up in here for top of the hour. It is about to hit 6 a.m., which is 9 a.m. And then we got, yeah. And then we got top of the hour for 10 a.m. EST family. We're close. We're close to it. We're close to it. Yes, and I used that coupon, says Wilson. So you got the 10% off. Nice. I couldn't even get anything for 10% off, to be honest, family. All the all the sneakers that I wanted, they weren't dipping down on the price. So I couldn't really snag them up. Last year, what type of Black Friday deals did they have uh, for uh, sneakers? Trying to plan um, a budget for this year, says Deontay. Family, I can't recall what went down for Black Friday for sneakers. I can't recall. What did they do around Black Friday for sneakers? Uh, last year what did they do because i can't remember <laughs> pz men says i hit on the highs for retail size 10 during the drop only went for the highs because i'd like them more says pz noise 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 family don't mind if i do i think i'm gonna snag up some nice little uh some nice little soup don't mind if i do though family here we go i'm gonna take you guys with me real quick i'm gonna take you guys with me and i'm gonna run up some nice little soup because your boy's kind of feeling a little hungry. Can you guys see me from right here? I'm going to warm up some nice little soup. Your boy's definitely feeling a little, a little hungry. It's like 6 a.m. And I still haven't had no good eats, no breakfast and whatnot. I wake up at 4. So your boy's definitely like, you know, a little bit on the hungry side. I'm going to have a little heavier meal though, just to start it off right. Hold up, fam. So we got some lentil soup real quick. Some Spanish lentil soup. I'm going to just pour that thing up real quick. There we go. All right, and now we're gonna mix it up, right, real quick. We're gonna put some rice on there and mix it up so it could be like a beanish type of thing. So it could be like rice and beans, low key. And we're gonna just vibe that right there. Cool beans, right there. Cool. Didn't that thing didn't splat, so that's good. And the good thing about this for you guys is that it's not crunchy, so it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. This is about to be like a cooking in real life stream, low key. Low key. Okay. Cool beans. Let's run that up real quick. All right, fam. Now I'm going to turn that bad boy on real quick for about, what, a minute or two? This microwave be, this microwave be heating up crazy quick. Not going to lie. Then we tap in. Let's do, let's do two minutes. Let's start that thing up. All right, tap in, family. Calm little in real life stream. Calm little in real life stream real quick. Ain't no says, what up, fam? What's going on, ain't no Looks like you on FaceTime with us, says Sosa. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, of course. You know, it's a Saturday stream. It's a calmer stream. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's 9 a.m. in the Eastern Standard Time. So might as well. If these were 130, yeah, but 150 is a lot. But um, I get why people would go for it. I just walked over my chick, uh, my uh, chicken coop, grabbed the fresh eggs, and made a sandwich. That's the flex for the day. Let me find out, baby. 
Uh, please, these not to resell. These for the OG, says 302 Civic. If you guys are going to go for these, like I said before, it should be more of a personal cop. I think it's still going to be a sellout no matter what. So, yeah, run it up that way, too. Run it up that way, too. And they are for the OGs. And also, I would consider if you guys are a newbie or just, you know, like an, an amateur sneakerhead, as I like to say it. Just run it up. Run it up as well, too. If you guys like what you guys see, go ahead and grab it up for the personal, baby. Esquatch, what's up, man? Hey, yo, BJ, so can I see stock on the 15? Um, stock numbers for the 15 should be 284. Here you guys go. I got you guys right now. Here you guys go. That's what it's looking like for stock. If you guys can't see it yet, here you guys go again. 284 right there. That's what it's looking like for stock and stock, baby. Snap, this thing is sounding like hot, 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 hot. Thing is sounding like freaking World War One, World War Two, in the freaking microwave. Not that you guys know the food is cooking, cooking. Not that you guys know the food is cooking, cooking. But yeah, this is gonna be a little calm little breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it though. But your boy definitely needs a little, a little something, something with rice. Yep, that's it right there. Papito says, good morning, BG fam. Good morning, Papito. What size 15 looking like? It's looking like 284 pairs. That's what it's looking like. 284 pairs. He's a little bit of a close-up right there, if you guys do need it. As an OG, I'm passing on these. Reminds me of uh, my failed attempts on the Panda, says a no Weary. Anyone else agree? Anyone else agree? I don't like considering these pandas, though. I don't like calling these or, like, having anything with pandas, like, with these shoes. I know it's a black and white shoe and everything, but not everything has to be, like, resembling to a panda. You feel me? I don't know. I just feel some type of way. I just do. I definitely think these Supreme Lows and Highs will go up eventually. They remind me of the Paris Dunks and the, um, what are they, the Push Heads? Plus, I thought I heard the artist Remo Z dies, plus uh, they're fired to me. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Remo Z pa passed away? Is that what, um, is that what SK just said? I didn't know Remo Z passed away. Is he still alive, family, or did he pass away? Let me see. Remo Z, hold on. Remo... Z, um, visual artist, when passing? No, I don't think he passed away, did he? Oh, he did. Wait a minute, that's not him, is it? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, he did pass away. He did. He did pass away, you're right, at the age of 49. R.I.P. I didn't know much about Remo Z, other than him being like some type of like artist. Yep. Y'all seen Overlord? Such a good movie. Uh, crazy, but good. I haven't really tapped in much movies, or any movies as of late, man. Other than like that one movie that we saw um, last night. Well, we couldn't even finish it, but... I have not tapped in. I haven't gone to the theaters here, man. I heard the theaters in Oregon are really, really bougie nowadays. I got to watch a nice little movie. I still haven't seen Barbie yet. I still haven't seen anything that's in theaters right now, man. What's a good movie that's in theaters that your boy BG should check out for this weekend, family? To be honest, these are better than the pandas. This crazy kick going. Um, well, I think I agree. I agree as well, too. I'm not a fan of the Air Force One lows like that, but I do agree that these are better. I think the quality on these should be a tiny bit better, no? Anyone got these in hand already? Let me know how the quality is. And I'm going to ask you guys this question as well, too. Would you guys prefer the blackouts or would you guys prefer the loyalties better? Those that grabbed up the loyalties. Would you guys prefer these bad boys more or would you guys prefer the blackouts? I feel like I mentioned that before, but I never got a solid answer from you guys. Strays is hilarious. I should tap in with Strays. I'm going outside to get some fresh air. As you guys should, man. It must be nice outside where you guys are at if you guys are trying to get fresh air. It's about to be nice outside today, too, but it's still dark outside. It's so freaking dark. 
it's starting to get um, darker earlier nowadays, right, family? I'm starting to see it's starting to get dark around 8 o'clock now, or 7, or 7.30-ish now. It's pretty dope. It's got, we're going to have longer nights now. I love longer nights. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a night owl. I love being outside at the at, in the dark. Like, I preferably like going outside night nighttime because it looks nicer out and just the scenery is more chill. You're more incognito. You feel me more than today. That's just me though. Black all day. Ain't no worries. Neither. I like the loyalty more, but black goes with more stuff. Obviously. Sosa says, I've seen so many parents taking their kids out to the movies when I um, when I go to see Strays. What is Strays about? I got to tap in with that. Question for the men in here. j and threes or satin breads? Satin breads all day, fam. SK, satin breads all freaking day. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it, man. The Supreme, uh, the Supreme Dunks don't be releasing on sneakers. Um, I don't think so. They haven't really told us anything about them loading up on sneakers anytime soon. Um, have not heard anything about any sources leading us that there could be a, a drop going down yet. But I listen, if I hear anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. I'll definitely, definitely let you guys know for sure. But as of right now, those Supreme Dunks were only dropping on sneaker. I mean, on a Supreme and... Skate shops, if you guys did snag them up, congratulations on them too. But Supreme might have been like that one go-to spot for the Supreme uh, SBs, Remo Zs. Equalizer 3. For Meryl Fox's live streams during Fall Slash when it hit different, tell me about it, family. So, um, the live streams for Fall and Wintertime usually hit 10 times more because one, we're always inside now, so it's a little bit colder. You guys have company around and stuff. You guys pop up your phone, pop up your laptop, pop up your PCs. You guys are locking in on us. You guys got your hot coffee. You guys got your, um, you guys got your hot cocoa. You guys got whatever you guys got going on, and it's always a vibe, man. I wish, I wish I was in the, on the other side of you guys too. Like, I wish I was there with you guys, or like reverse it. Sometimes you, you guys can go streaming, and I can watch you guys too. BJ, are you going for the Travis Scott? Oh, there I go again. BJ, are you going for the Terra Scott Air Force Ones? Question mark. Um, you should play Fat Joe. Lean back. Lean back. You know what's crazy, family? I didn't even know he sang that song, man. I didn't even know he tapped in with that song. And I, I always listened to that song. I never knew Fat Joe did that song. Isn't that crazy, family? I know you guys are going to hate me for it. I didn't know. I didn't know it was Fat Joe. Satin breads remind me of the super single women's uh, bed. Oh my gosh. Y'all are crazy. Patty Eddie says, passing on the uh, terror squads. Saul says, hey, yo. 302 Civic says, people saying 150 is a lot, but I bet I paid 160 for a regular Air Force One Travis Scott. But um, hold up, hold up. People saying 150 is a lot, but I bet he paid 160 for a regular Air Force One Travis Scott. Listen, listen, listen. Hold up. Hold up. I think 302 Civic is talking about me because I was one of the few, first few people to go after for those Travis Scotts. What are you trying to say, 302 Civic? What are you trying to say? Am I a hype beast, man? Calling me a hype beast? Are you calling him? Are you calling me out from my hype beast vibes? Well, here's the thing. The only reason why I would spend 160 on Travis Scott Utopias is because I actually tap in with, with Travis Scott. With Fat Joe, I really don't. So maybe that's why. It's like more of a bias type of thing. Like I'm biased toward Travis Scott. So I'm going for the utopias. If that makes sense. That's just me. Not even about how good these these look. Because these do look good. But uh, I would still end up going for that utopia Air Force One. Just because um, I appreciate the album. And I do like, I, I am a fan of Travis Scott. So that's that's where it goes. Real, like, real talk, though. Real talk. Um, let's see. Now lean back to hit Millie Rock. Oh, my gosh. Watch Oppenheimer if you can last a three-hour movie. I heard that Oppenheimer or whatnot is just talking. Is that what's going on? It's just talking? It's like... Who remembers Joey Crack from Def, uh, Def Jam Vendetta? I don't. I'm an old sneakerhead. Or I'm a, uh, I'm an old head sneaker. 
I'm going for the Joey's. Let's run it then, Vic. Vic, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me see. So Curtis says, Curtis up in the building. What's up, Curtis? Good morning. So you buy anything Travis got just because? I mean, if I like it, if it's decent, yeah. But I wouldn't buy, like, I didn't go for the merch. I didn't go for the merch. I did not like the merch. But if I like something, if it looks decent, I'll go for it. Those Air Forces were very basic. It's just an Air Force with a stamp on them saying Utopia. That's about it. It's basic. I prefer that over a regular, regular Air Force. Well, truth be told, if I could just take off the Utopia and just keep the Cactus Jack logo, it would be kind of cooler in my opinion. But they added it up. I'd probably, I'd probably just grab it up. i just probably rock those over the all-white ones. But the, the merch was a little bit off for me. I, I was not a fan of the merch. I was not a fan of the merch. Group Essential, what's up? How's it going, BG? What's going on, Group Essentials? How you feeling? But I kind of have to, uh, but I kind of have to. Let's freaking, I didn't know, Vic. Vic, I didn't know. You guys are representing. In store event from the Pokemon X Santa Cruz blind bags decks at Zoomies today. Some stores are doing in store raffles. Let me know in the chat what you guys pulled off for the Santa Cruz Pokemon decks. Did anyone go for them? Let me know in the chat. Air Force One Joey cracks. Them Joey cracks. Them Joe cracks. So then you like the Air Force Ones then? Uh, and they were okay, but I did go for them. Yeah. The major the reason the main reason why I went for them to begin with was for the giveaway, but. One, they never shipped out. Two, I got the chargeback, so I doubt they're going to ship back uh, or ship. And, um, yeah, it was just, it, w it wasn't all that to begin with. The Air Force Ones, those those Travis Scott's were just a bench cop. And it seemed like people were just copping them because they thought they were going to be a great investment. I always tell you guys, when it comes down to Travis Scott's side, I feel like I told you guys from the get-go, it's kind of tough to sell them because people don't have them in hand. So, like, the prices are up high, but once they start receiving pairs in hand, that's where it gets tough. That's where that's where you see the price just tank. And that's what we did see. It just took a good amount of time because family, uh, the, the Travis Scott, this, the Travis Scott team was ended up shipping these out, like, later than three weeks times or, like, four weeks. Or I've, I feel like some people are starting to get them just now. So, yeah, it's crazy. J Balance will be released on his website. Yeah, they should. BGC James, um, he finally got his Utopia and seemed excited. Open up cam, they sent him women's eight, and he ordered a men's eight. Wow, that's crazy. No, I didn't tap in with that, but that's crazy. That is crazy. James is also the guy that ended up getting um. I'm pretty sure James is also the guy that ended up getting um. The the lost and founds moldy as well too, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, Porecito, um, James Meyer, man, that this guy be always going through it all with like his packages, bro. With, from like moldy pair of lost and founds to wrong sizes, like that's crazy. He's got really bad luck with that. Not gonna lie. Nitro says, got one steak, um, got got one steak deck. Um, it was Ivy Sword. There we go. Anyone else? Ivy Sword wasn't too bad. What was what were you trying to aim for, Nitro? Were you trying to aim for, uh, for Mewtwo or something or what? AOBG, hey, what's up, Melo? Did they pop up with Mewtwo or am I tripping? I know they had Gyarados. I know they had Charizard, Pikachu, and the Golden Ones. You guys were probably aiming for the Gold Ones too, no? I hit on CCS, raffle for the Pokemon decks. First one on CCS, been trying a few years now. It's been so hard to hit the, um, hit there for SBs. I bet, family. But congratulations on that one. Did they uh, end up shipping off already or no? Do you guys have to pick them up? How did it work? There was only a raffle for like 30 minutes. For CCS, there was only a raffle for 30 minutes. So it was kind of hard for us to like even tap in with that one. Not going to lie. Nitro says multiple zoomies is not restocking Santa Cruz X Pokemon Skate. Is not restocking. Hello, Panda's on Sneakers Politics. Um, yeah, they also got them on Sheik App as well, too. In case you guys are interested. Panda's on Sheik as well, too, if you guys are interested. They're, they seem to be uh, sitting slower and slower, I feel like. Raffle only. Draw close. Dropped the 16th. Wait, hold up. 
Oh, maybe then. Oh, okay. This was a draw that already happened then, huh? You guys are going to see results today. Is that what it is? It's all good. You guys got this is the main attraction for Sheik. And you guys got Terror Squads. Yes, I want Mew or Mewtwo. Or the gold deck. Yeah. Yeah, Mew or Mewtwo is fire. I think my favorite one has got to be Mewtwo, though. I remember back in the day I was playing Nintendo 64. And I was running up po Pokemon Battlefield or whatever it was. This was the game that I was running up on Nintendo 64. Pokemon Nintendo 64. What was it, family? Pokemon Stadium. That's the game that I was running up, Pokemon Stadium. This is the epic game that I consider part of my childhood family. Pokemon Stadium was goaded. Where can I pop up Pokemon Stadium? Images. Where can I pop it up? This game right here, as you guys see it right here. This game, if you guys ever have a child, right? Family, if you guys got kids and stuff, if you guys want to run it up with... Uh, them with the poke uh, with a Nintendo 64 game. This is it right here. This is an epic game that will definitely definitely be a part of their childhood forever, bro. This 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 game right here brings back memories, bro. Memories. I was probably a little late for the gaming, but uh, Pokemon Stadium was definitely one of the ideal games that I remember growing up with, and Mario as well too. I forgot what it was, uh, Mario something, but it was pretty dope. I could never finish that game. I don't think I've ever finished the game, but yeah. What up, BG? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Josh. How you feeling? Have vlog my skate shop camp out for uh, Santa Cruz skate deck. Nitro, did you drop it on YouTube or what's up? Make sure you guys tap in with Nitro's uh, Nitro's YouTube channel if he does drop anything on YouTube, man. Tap in with him. Tap in and see what the vibes are for today. Damn, what the heck, bro? I hate these flies. Whenever I see one little mini fly, I get uh, I get annoyed. I try to catch it. Wow, I had that game. Dude, that game is so epic. It's so epic, bro. Did you guys used to play with the Nintendo 64 back in the day? Let me know in the chat. If so, what was your favorite game? There was like Zelda that I was playing with, which was kind of scary for me. I don't know about you guys, but Zelda was kind of weird and scary. That's just me. You guys had Mario, which was okay. I had multiple Pokemon Stadium games, which is fire too. Um... Another Pokemon game that was like snapshots where it was like taking pictures of Pokemons, I guess. Nikki, what's up? What up, fam? How's everyone? What's up, Nikki? Shout out to Des's wifey up in the building. What's going on, Nikki? How you feeling? Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. was epic as well, too. Oh my god. Super Smash Bros. Nintendo. Nintendo 64. They gotta have it here. Nintendo... 64 bro this one right here too this is epic right here family this game right here back in the day was so freaking epic this game right here and then when you gotta get the the uh unlocking those players like ness like ness i think it was one of those players that you guys had unlocked i forgot which else did you have i'm pretty sure you guys had to unlock luigi as well too if i'm not mistaken this game was epic family this game was epic this one right here Countless and countless and countless of times playing this with friends and family, bro. This game goes crazy. Goes crazy. Beautiful game. And then here's the other one right here. There's the other Super Mario 64. I think that's what it was. Beautiful game. This is the first game I've ever played. Ever in my life. It was this game right here. Brings back great memories. This is a beautiful game right here. It makes me want to cry, to be honest. Beautiful times. Were they always 82 bucks though? How much was a game back in the day? How much was um, a Nintendo 64 back in the day? Is it as cheap? Is it expensive now or is it cheaper now to buy a Nintendo 64? Best game, says Freddy. If you didn't play Perfect Dark, why, uh, why have a childhood, says Supercard? Oh, snap. Mario 64 stole most of my teenage years trying to get all those stars or uh, all those starts, lol. Oh, Smash, da, 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 phew. GameCube is unbeatable, says Freddy. <laughs> Let me see. BG was not allowed to play 007? Probably not. Okay, BG taking me back. I try, man. I don't even know when the Nintendo 64 
was made. When was that made? Because I was playing that when I was like six or five. Star Fox. Star Fox was good too. Did you ever play Paper Mario? No, I haven't. Never did. Zelda was my ish. I would say 40. 40 to 50 bucks, says Devon. Damn, that's how much. Back then, it was like 100. But Mario Plus says BG retro games go up in value just like shoes do too. Expensive now. They were like 50 bucks when I was living. Okay, so they're not too bad if they're refurbished, huh? More now, cheaper back then. How much was the Nintendo 64 family? How much was Nintendo 64 retail? Do they sell them on stocky stock? I think I might have to cop one just in case, man. If I see one in the thrift. Okay, let's see. A Nintendo 64. This is a, a Nintendo 64 controller. Is this an updated one? This is for like a Switch. I don't think this could work in uh, an actual Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64 controller. How much is that? 34 bucks. 13 bucks. Okay, the, so the controller is still cheap. Nintendo 64 console. I'm curious, family. I'm curious right now. Okay, okay, okay. It's a little bit cheaper, though. Refurbished Walmart. Nintendo 64 video game. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? What do you guys think? Would this be worth it? Buying it for the future home and then just keeping it for like years, years to go and be like, yo, look, this is what I used to play back in I, when I was a kid. For the future mini me's, for the future little bit B, mini BG's. That'd be kind of epic. You still got my Nintendo, you still got your Nintendo 64. If anyone's trying to sell their Nintendo 64, hit me up, man. I'll pay you guys. I still have my NES from when I was a kid. Still works too. They were like 50 to 60, but adjust for inflation and how they don't compete. Uh, don't complete a game nowadays. Then our, um, we're better at the world. Objectively, too many hands in that corporate pot. Don't forget that expansion on graphic cards for Nintendo 64. That N64. Nah, I, didn't, I, I don't even know what a graphic card is to begin with, to be honest. That's too much tech. That's too much tech for your boy. Parker says they was like 40 to 60. Wow. That was and that was probably considered a lot back then too, huh, family? You need to buy the Air Mags BG to show the mini BGs. Oh gosh, the Air Mags? That's way out of my freaking radar. Is it worth it, question mark? Not really, especially with the emulators being thing. Um, but people buy it for the nostalgia of Supercard. Exactly. That's what that was giving me right now. Just nostalgia, just good times, good memories. BG, you gotta get that mini version. Has legit patties. The mini version? How do I get the mini version? <coughs> Almost choked just now, fam. <coughs> Almost dying up in here. Food went down the wrong pipe. Uh, Josh says, I have two. The regular version and the Pokemon Nintendo 64. Wow. I still have the N64 with graphic card and PlayStation 1 and 2. PlayStation 1, I've never really tapped in with it. But um, I still would have a friend <coughs> that would have the PlayStation 1. He would run up a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! or Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. So Crash Bandicoot was th that guy. He was that guy. <clears throat> yes, it was expensive, and my dad was a construction worker. Wow. Remember SmackDown for PlayStation 2? Dude, that's all I would collect is Sm WWE SmackDown games, which was... <clears throat> it was either SmackDown Shut Your Mouth, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. <clears throat> I think the, the other one that I copped was SmackDown Know Your Role. Those three right there were the main ones that I would cop. There was also raw games for uh, Xbox too, if I'm not mistaken. Spyro the Dragon. I used to play. <coughs> I used to play Jack and Dexter all the time. Family, I'm dying here. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying here. 
Oh no, is that blood? No, I'm playing family. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I am dying right now. Like, literally, the freaking food is, like, trying to get out of my system. Kuya says Brooklyn in the house. What's going on, Kuya? Technically, BX in the house for today. For today, BX is in the house. We got a couple more minutes left for the live cops for this morning. OG Nintendo here um, here when you couldn't save a game. First time I broke night to beat Mario games at Sneakers. Wow. What's up, BG brother? What's going on, Kuya? Just casually... Choking on some rice and beans just now, but uh, other than that, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. I still have Sega games as well too. What you guys play for Sega games? I'm curious. That was way out of my, like, yeah. What you guys do for Sega games? Drink some water. Casually starts eating more instead of drinking water. I feel like water's gonna like. Choke me even more, low key. Pause. Well, I'm done here. Finish my bowl right there, and I'm good to go. Chug this little thing, and I'm good to go. I feel like I got mad energy now. Nintendo 64 expansion pack actually gave you a chance to play higher graphic games like Donkey Kong 64. Crazy how that goes for like 40 plus now. Insane. <clears throat> the Sega Dreamcast, I used to play, um, I don't even know how to spell, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Is it Shenmue 1 and 2? Did you guys used to play Rain Man? Rain Man or something like that? It was like Mario, but like this Rain Man type of dude. I don't know. It felt like you were playing Mario low-key, but like, I guess different type of graphics or different type of vibes. Sonic as well, Mortal Kombat. Sega was my first console. I got it with the Sonic and Mortal Kombat. Wow, the OGs. <clears throat> Add some eggs. I would, but I'm not trying to cook it up today. Not today. My Sega came with the Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it seems like a lot of you guys got the Sonics and the Mortal Kombat, huh? Morning, family. What's up, Eno? How you feeling, brother man? <clears throat> Eno, did you guys tap in with the Sega back in the day? Sonic as well, says Josh. Yeah, a lot of you guys are talking about Sonic. I used to play Sonic for, for the PlayStation 2. I forgot which one it was. How much is those uh, ugly tennis shoes? Jet says that these ones right here are going to be retailing for $150. we are going to be calling out all the stock pretty soon within a couple of minutes. We got 30 minutes left for the initial uh, drop for today, family. <clears throat> Dog Sue says, let's not forget Ratchet and Clank. He's also bringing up Ratchet and Clank up here, which is one of the goat the goat against for PlayStation of all time, in my in my opinion. Also, Jack and Dex is right then and there too. BG, guess what? Nikki's going back to her. Uh, let me find out. She's about to go back to school. That's amazing. I can't even pronounce that word. That's how fancy that word was. I'm so proud of her, dude. That's amazing, sis. That's amazing. Shout out to Nikki up in here for going back to school. Are these for the personals, question mark? This should be more of a personal cop as of right now, but truth be told, do you guys think that this is going to be a long-term investment too or no, family? Let me know in the chat. Drop too much this week, says Petty. Petty Eddie. Shout out to Petty Eddie. We play Sonic, Mortal Kombat, and Street Fighter, says Vic. <clears throat> Toe Jam and Earl, um, and Earl and Sega. Metal Gear Solid is my favorite PlayStation game. Why does that sound so familiar? Beavis and Butthead for Sega was heck. Heck. That finishing pole gives us the worst memories of my life, says Supercard. Street Fighter was there. Uh, Street Fighter was where it was at for me. Okay. What, what, what where it was at for me. Okay. The Atari 2600. Uh, the Pong game, says Kuya. <clears throat> Chris M says, password page went up yesterday. For what, Chris M? What link did they provide? The J Balvin store? Oh, I did see that. I thought they already dropped something on J Balvin's site. This is considered the password page? Los Dientes? J Balvin, Usher DJ Dientes out now. If you guys do want to snag them up. If you guys do want to snag up that new album. That new, that new song. The Coins. 
I'm meeting Clank at convention on September 30th and getting him to autograph my Clank Funko Pop. Nice. I will get him to autograph that video game too, man. Sonic the Hedgehog was the first game I ever finished as Vic. And Sonic the Hedgehog was alright too, family. Like, it was actually fun. It was actually fun. There's some games that get boring after a while. Sonic, ooh! One game that will never get tired for me. One game that will never get boring for me was this Pac-Man game for PlayStation. <clears throat> Check this out. This screams out nostalgia for your boy BG. Pac-Man, PlayStation. They should make more of those, man. This game right here. Pac-Man World... This is Pac-Man World 2. This game right here went crazy. <clears throat> this game right here for your boy BG went crazy. This was such a dope game. They should have made way more games like that, for sure. One of the best games of all time, in my opinion, was that Pac-Man game for kids. For sure. For sure. Oh, snap. They got a P5 version of it? They got a P5 version of this? Since when? What is this, the re repack? Did they remake them or what? Dude, that's fire. That is fire. I might have to tap in with that. You see nostalgia right there at its finest. At its finest. That Pac-Man game was goaded, family. I was Team Sonic over Mario. CTR was the first Mario Kart. I never get bored of uh, Tetris. Anyone else? I'm so bad at Tetris. Black Ops says, good morning, BG. Video game talk. Donkey Kong uh, Country on Super Nintendo Goat, says Black Ops. Nice. Yeah, so I don't know how it started, but we're, we're starting to talk about nostalgia and stuff. It might be because of nostalgia with Fat Joe and these shoes for the OGs. We started just running it up with, like, uh, game talk. Low key. Low key. It's crazy how the just, like, we take control of the chat and just go off of, like, whatever... Whatever we're uh, we're tapping it with. Pac-Man 2 Adventures on Sega. Dennis's was bomb. On the side, it says sign up for info on the Jordan 3 Balvin. Shout out to Chris Hemm on that one. Used to hate to blow the dust out of the games, hoping it will play and remember no memory cards, says Josh. Dude, that's <laughs> one thing I will never forget is, is that your boy BG will try everything to make sure that thing will turn on and make sure it will go to work. Like, your boy would, like, grab it mad aggressively blow it up crazy like just and then pow and i will like put it in and then just click on on or like switch it and then hope it it'll work and i would do it so aggressively too because i would be getting like extremely upset and i would know i would do it just aggressive enough where i'm letting out my anger but also like not too hard where i'm gonna break the freaking uh game the game system because i know i would get my ass beat if uh, if I would break the console, because you know money was tight, so the fact that they were buying games and stuff, you know, it was a blessing. A huge blessing. I knew that from the jump. But I'd be like, Tah! like as a little one, I'd be like, "Come on, work." Uh, oh my God, Shorty. Funny how uh, we're kids. We want to be adults, and then as adults, we want to go back as being kids. As a kid, yo, dude, it's crazy because I was walking the other day by my old elementary school and I was just like, man, does time fly? Because I was seeing the kids play where I was playing at when I, in the in the playgrounds when I was a kid, in the bar chips and all that, that all that good, good. And dude, it's crazy how time flies down. Do I wish I was back to being that that same age? Probably. I think I'm okay with being how I am right now and just being an adult, man. I, I feel like I got freedom now. I feel like you really have freedom being an adult as long as you guys work hard and you guys have some morals in life. <clears throat> I think being an adult is not that bad. Um, it, but everyone's situation is different, right? So, yeah. But as of right now, man, if I could choose between being a kid again <coughs> or staying as, a, as an adult, I'll probably, I'll probably stay as an adult, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I can take control without feeling like I have to wait a certain time frame or feel like I'm too young or I'm too little or, you know, it, as an adult, you guys can pretty much run whatever you guys want to uh, as long as it's safe, kind of respectful and um, it's not, you know, backtracking you. I think it should be good. BG does it aggressively. Oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. Y'all are crazy, man. Then puts it in. Oh my gosh. You see what you guys are doing? 
Y'all look crazy today. I'm surprised Nike she uh let's see. I'm surprised Nike approves of the JC on the back on the terror squads. On the JC. Let me see real quick. Do these have images of the back? Do they not provide images of the full flat out shoe? What's going on? Why can't I see the back of the shoe? Let me see real quick. Let's do upcoming. Let's do feed, feed, feed. There we go. Let me see what's going on with Fat Joe real quick. Let's see what's going on with Fat Joe. Fat Joe definitely giving out New York vibes for sure. Can I just skip these? How do I skip this? Ah, here we go. Do they not provide a video? Do they not provide a video for uh for the terror squads? <clears throat> Behind the design, there we go. Let's see this real quick. Let me pop this up. You guys ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Three, two, one. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Remy Ma. And we are here Remy Ma? to discuss this out. amazing Terror Squad Air Force One. I'm Chris Ritchie, lead merchant for Nike Basketball Footwear. Hold on, family. So if you guys peeped, he was rocking the Supersonics. What's up? What's I don't know if you guys can see that, though, because of the stream, but he was definitely rocking the Supersonics. Girl, Ma, and we are here to discuss this amazing Terra Squad Air Force One. I'm Chris Ritchie, lead merchant for Nike Basketball Footwear. It was it just me or did I see a different color for those Terra Squads? I could have sworn I seen like pink on them. Am I tripping or am I colorblind? Did I see an icy bottom on them or what? This is the behind the design on the Terra Squad Air Force One. I started out, you know, rapping. I met Fat Joe and Terra Squad when I was still in high school. Damn, and what the from heck? New York, Air Force Mom looks One mad young still. Part of your wardrobe. Like, you have to have. Now, this is pretty cool because it still allows you to wear the black Air Force Ones, but you got the little Oreo effect going on. Without a shadow of a doubt, sneaker culture, sneakers, and rap music are synonymous with each other. I'm loving the beat. I don't know about you guys, but that that background music right now is, is definitely like, I feel like it, it's a vibe right now. really think Joe was the catalyst for that. Terror Squad, specifically Remy, she was one of the first female rappers that kind of amplified sneaker culture to a female generation <laughs> that didn't really have someone like that to look up to, that dressed the way that they wanted to. That beat go crazy. A time where all I wore was sneakers. I was very, very tomboy. And sneakers was life. You know, Joe has always had a very deep love and relationship for the brand. 2002 was the first year where we started doing Terror Squad Air Force One. You see those pink joints right here? These pink ones right here kind of go crazy. How do we? Where? Where? Did, where are those at? Did they? Did they not release those yet? New Kicks says Cement Fours on Hibbit Sports. Shout out to New Kicks. If you guys got the link for Cement Fours on Hibbit, drop it in the chat. You guys do know they be restocking pairs. Go crazy. Um. There's a pink version. Where's that pink version? How come we haven't seen that pink version go down? We've only seen the blackouts. We've only seen the loyalty. What about that pink version? Sorry, we ain't buying stores. Shoes is weak, says Curtis. Oh, my gosh. Someone says Oreo. Brukabi says Oreo, not Panda. So call them Oreos. Call them the Oreos. I see that. I see that Oreo. <coughs> I see that Oreo. Bar. You got the black, the white, and the black. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to Kyle D up in the building for the four dollar and 20 cent don't know i'm gonna just call it the five dollar don't know appreciate you he says good morning y'all keep the taylor swift air force ones much love oh my gosh do -do 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 for joe but they were just going Where's to him home? and i guess enough time had passed it felt like the right time to bring this shoe back and to do the storytelling around terror squads history connection okay that's it right there hold on this ts right here with the baby, with the pink, I don't know, family. That screams, that's screaming a beauty right there. I kind of like them things. I'm kind of liking them things. AJ says, damn, Remy, Ma, Remy got skinny. She used to be thick and um, cold peanut butter. Still she bad, though. Oh, my gosh, family. But, yeah, I didn't really recognize her till uh, just now. Till just now. Like, she she definitely did look like, you know, she was she's working on her uh, herself for show. That's amazing. She's looking both ways, though. 
Beautiful, big, or or slim family. We beautiful, big, or slim, man. You guys are beautiful just the way you guys are, no matter what type of sizes. Your boy BG, same too, man. Big or small, he's still feeling great. He's still feeling great. Big or big, big or slim, I should say. What, what am I saying? Influence and impact on New York City hip hop, rap. Sneakers, I just think it's a hip hop thing. Like, period. Like, we, we care about. You guys agree? He showed all three colors on complexes, Marvin. Cool. I didn't it's see that. Thing. Joe and I went into his sneaker collection and found the originals with the boxes with the style numbers on it. And we worked back with the product team to go truly one for one. This is a one for one OG on the originals that only Joe got in 2002. Full grain premium leather. And obviously we had to have. Ooh, now we see what's going on, man. Still pass on both colors. It's just regular Air Force One, like Utopia One, Sharpie, customizing. <clears throat> <clears throat> she got some work done. She even said, "I said, oh, you're so sweet, BG. You guys know it, man. It's it's honestly true." So the the pink pair is what friends and family pair. Is that what it's? What's it called? Let me see real quick. Pink, um, tr uh, terror squads. Air Force One. Let me see how much time we got left. Now these are not it. These don't look like it. These are not it. New Nike Fat Joe Terror Squads? Nah, there's like more of a black and... The one that we're seeing has an icy bottom. How come they don't have them here? They don't got them here or what? Weird. Okay, let's get back to it. TS on the quarter, Terror Squad. <clears throat> and then we've got the JC on the heel, which is short for both Joseph Cartagena, Joe's real name, as well as Joey Crack, his graffiti name. Graffiti is a big part of Joe's upbringing and eventually what led him into to rap and hip hop. This summer happens to be the 20th anniversary of that famous blackout game at her park. The mecca of New York City basketball, the yes, mecca sir. of New York City street hoop, and Joe's the king of Rucker Park. Part of the storytelling for this shoe is retell the story to those who were there for it, give access to the product to those who remembered it but couldn't get it, <clears throat> but also retell a very special New York City story to the entire globe. I feel like I'm going to always go back to the classic Air Force One. I'm Remy Ma, and this was behind the design for the Terra Squad Air Force Ones. Shoes are still fire, though, fam. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. They 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 type fire. They type fire. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a decent decent color block, and you guys know you guys can't go wrong with the black and white shoe for sure. Air Force One low, nice and slick for some of you guys. I'm not a fan of the Air Force One low like that, but it's still looking pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do it. But yeah, there you guys see Fat Joe rocking those uh, pink versions of them things, which look pretty fire in my opinion. Now I see what he's talking about. Uh, shout out to Jesse G for the $5. Dollar. Don't know. He says, people talking about these are whack, but we'll do front flips for those plain ass Utopia Air Force Ones. Shake my head, says Jesse G. Shout out to Jesse on the $5. Dollar. Don't know. And thank you so much for your comments and opinions, family. Let us know in the chat what's your comments and opinions about the Air Force One Terror Squads real quick before we end up going live copping for these bad boys within 14 minutes. Let's get it, baby. The quality on the J Bowen 3s is so so. Curtis says, more story he tells, the weaker the shoe looks, says Curtis. Oh gosh. I've seen a few looking a little um I've seen a few looking a little crusty, says Petty Eddie. Looking what? What's crusty? The Air uh the Air Force Ones? If they fire, every single fire, da da da. Shake my head says carrot is. These are decent though. These these have a great color blocking. Can't lie. They they got great, they got decent color blocking right up in here. Decent color blocking. It's somewhat, it's somewhat a little bit on the plain side with the uh what just flat out how it looks, but it's still good enough, man. It's better, it's better than nothing, in my opinion. It's better than just having <clears throat> just color blocking. You guys got the TS for Terror Squad. You guys got the Joey Crack on the back. The JC on the back. I mean, it's got a little something, something. What else would you guys want on the shoe for a collaboration on the Air Force One? Like, what would you guys want? <clears throat> it's something subtle. It's something subtle. 
<clears throat> Sometimes less is more, in my opinion. I think that's enough. That's that's good enough for my book for it to be like you know, a cop. <clears throat> Will I be copping? Probably not. <clears throat> Petty Eddie says Balvin's. Don't like either Air Force One on Terror Squads and uh, Travis Scott Uto uh, Travis Scott Utopias. Both boring. Says Nitro. Every sneaker is decent. And uh, boring color blocking is now fire. Says Curtis. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, Dev Divine Photo says I'm not gonna lie. The Gratitude Jordan Elevens is similar to the DMPs, just as when the Jubilees Elevens that came out three years ago were similar to the Space Jam. Says Divine Photos. Mo Green, good morning, man. Good morning, BGM family. Fat Joe uh, could have did this. Uh, could have done better than this. I like Fat Joe, but not a fan of the shoe and a yanked on StockX, says Mo Green. Anyone else agree with Mo Green? Scale of 1 to 10, what would you guys rank the Terror Squad real quick for the one time? <clears throat> Just a regular Air Force One at this point. If he wasn't outside in the late 90s, you wouldn't understand, says Marvin. Need these, but I'm old, LOL. Just because you need these doesn't mean you're old. Doesn't Just because you're old... Doesn't mean you can't go for this. Go, grab them up. Matter of fact, if you guys are older, the more the the, the more the merrier for you guys. It seems like this gravitates more for those OGs up in here. It's like we scared to hurt Joey's feelings or some, or Joe's feelings or some. Sneakers have no feeling, folks. Oh, I'm not scared of his feelings. I'm scared of what he might do to me if I say something, family. Um, no, nah, I'm playing. All jokes aside, I think that this shoe right here is pretty decent, man. I'll give it a solid 7.5 to like 8. 7.5 to like 8, somewhere around there. Color blocking is definitely wearable. Color blocking is definitely wearable. It's got a little something, something here and there. All right. <clears throat> let's see. If you're not a fan of history, you would, um, let's see. If you're a fan of history, you would like these shoes. MG says four. Rusty says five. Six point five. Just says one. Blue Widow Spy says two. Wait, what? Damn. Damn. You guys are giving out these low, these low rankings, man. I'm actually extremely surprised. BG, make sure you go half. Uh, make sure you go up a half a size, like you said. BG shoe size of 10, 10.5, or 11. For Air Forces, they run really big for your boy BG. So I'm a 10.5, but I typically, for an Air Force One low, I can run up a 10, and it'll fit me just okay. Like, it'll fit me just perfectly. It's it's a little weird. It's a little bit weird. <clears throat> BG, you said OG, not age. I said OG, right? I said if you guys are OG. Oh, that's respectful, right? OG. Trying to not be mean. I'm not trying to say that you guys are old. At this very moment, man, I feel like you guys are all young up in here. It's all right. Not a fan of the Air Force One, but that's just me. It's not resale or collectors. It's an everyday shoe. Young folks don't respect the OG shoes as Devon Photos. F history and resale prices. Just wear, uh, just wear goddamn shoes. <laughs> He only got the fame because of Big Pun. Uh, he had no control over TS until Big Pun passed, and then he kicked out Cuban Link. Um, there's nothing respect here. There's nothing to respect here, says Curtis. I heard it's not a regular Air Force. Heard it just. Um, I heard it does increase that easily. Fat Joe said he wore a pair 25 times and no creases, says SK. Anthony says, are these Air Force ones going to go up in price? Worth the cost, says Anthony. That's what I'm going to ask you guys next, too, because I asked you guys whether or not you guys feel like this would be a solid investment in the long run. Would you guys cop these? Would you guys see these going up in the future, or do you guys think they're going to stay around the same price tag that they're at right now? Because ideally, right, if we, like, check out the market. Also, fam, we got nine minutes left for uh, the Polar Blue Dunks as well, too, if you guys are tapping in with these. You guys got... Terror Squads, top of the hour, and Polar Blue Dunks, top of the hour as well, too. Let me check stocky stock, and then we can go ahead and run up the stock numbers for you guys, each and every individual size. Um, let's do Terror Squads. Let me do Terror Squads real quick. Men's 10.5, 173, 172, 171. Okay, 198. Retail for these are 150. If you guys were to sell these on the apps right now, you guys would definitely be missing out on profit. You guys could be breaking even or just 
uh, losing some cash, losing some money. So just giving you guys a heads up on the apps is looking very tough for you guys to sell. Maybe in person you guys can do a quick flip of some sort, but you guys are going to be breaking even close to damn near 150 anyway. So I don't know if it's going to be well worth it for you guys for resale, but for a long-term investment, I mean, we'll definitely have to see on that one. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. It's an Air Force One. Terror Squad, Fat Joe, I mean, there's not much hype that could that could that I could see these, you know, keep on suddenly going high unless, God forbid, knock on wood, a passing goes by with like Fat Joe or something. Not saying that I, we want that to happen. I'm just saying the only way I could see these going up is, you know, knock on wood, you know, a passing of some sort and then boom, these shoot up. But that's about it. I don't I don't consider these a solid investment. I wouldn't, especially as an Air Force One. Uh, Air Force One low. Doubt it. Send you a pick of the Terror Squad's friends and family on Insta. Shout out to Christian on that one, man. I really like those a lot, too. It just so happens it's a friends and family. Um, I take the puke uh, colored Cali fives all day over these. Ew, man. I just I just had breakfast, bro. You calling them puke fives got me feeling messed up just now. Um, let's see. I got the Terror Squad's in a size 12. I could see these going up in the future. The OGs and colorways we've never seen before may uh, take a hit. Air Force One Terror Squad's right there on Sneaker Politics for you guys in case you guys are running it up. Let me know in the chat. How do you guys feel about them? Absolutely not. Fat Joe's 53 years old, just like Michael Jordan's 60. Fat Joe just Cali friend at this point. We don't uh, we don't want or need these. Um, I got the Terror Squads. Those aren't OG. I love what says Casper. Um, I don't think being called older is mean. LOL. I'm just saying, you know, um, I just feel like some people could take it, you know, the wrong way if I'm saying you guys are a little bit more on the older side. I mean, that doesn't sound, I don't know how I could word that like even nicer, you know? So I try, I try not saying it like that. I just try saying, you know, the OGs up in here, those that have been around for longer, right? I know, I know I'm, I can't be considered that much of an OG just yet. Maybe within a couple of years. I believe is that I'll be a part of your guys' uh, your guys' side, but we're still we're still uh, team baby, team youngin. Uh, you know the Terror Squad week if uh, they gotta do all this promo for them, says Curtis. Is it a lot of promo for them? I think it's just a little a little story a little story behind the shoe, so you guys can know what's going on within the shoe. You know, I, I don't think it's too much promo going on with it. I think it's just you know a little storytelling, little little storytelling from what is the shoe about. Uh, BG, did you know uh, Jordan has a NASCAR team number 23 and 45? I did see that. I don't know who's the racers, but I did see the uh, the cars. I thought they were pretty fire. I'm 43 and I'm proud, says Marlon. Curtis got an axe to grind with Joey. Who hurt you, bro? Says Vic. Oh, my God. Good morning, uh, everyone. Good morning, Sir Joey Stacks. Anyone having issues trying to do a raffle for EQL? You're not the only person, Josh. You're not the only person. Someone else said the same exact thing this morning. When uh, When's the J Balin 3s coming out? Blake, so yesterday was EA. If you guys did not go for EA yesterday, um, or if you guys did not get EA yesterday, we're going to have the J Balance drop next week. Next week is going to be the time for the J Balance family. Next week. If you guys are new up in here, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon, family. We go live every single day, Monday through Saturday, for live cops, shot drops, restock alerts, and flat out initial releases like today. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell icon so you guys do not skip out on any of the free resources that we got for you guys, whether it's um, sneaker links for copping, um, shot drop alerts, restocks, and of course, we got the stock numbers up in here that we provide for you guys, from you guys, for the family, for the community up in here. 1,000% for free. Let's get started with the stock count for the Terror Squads for today. We got four minutes left, and here we go. We got men's size four, 252 pairs going down. Men's size four and a half, zero pairs going down. Men's size five, 228 pairs going down. Men's size five and a half, 244 pairs going down. Men's size six, 512 pairs going down. Men's size six and a half, 508 pairs going down. Men's size seven, 1,068 pairs going down. Men's size seven and a half, 1,544 pairs going down. Men's size eight, 4,040 pairs going down. Men's size eight and a half, 4,352 pairs going down. Men's size nine, 
5,568 pairs going down. Men's size 9.5, 5,900 pairs going down. Men's size 10, 6,364 pairs going down. Men's size 10.5, 5,884 pairs. Men's size 11, 5,520 pairs. Men's size 11.5, 2,880 pairs going down. Men's size 12, you guys got 4,048 pairs going down. Men's size 12.5, 384 pairs. Men's size 13, you guys got 2,596 pairs. Men's size 14, you guys 868. And then last but certainly not least, men's size 15, 284 pairs going down for today's drops on Sneakers app. Um, if you guys got more questions, keep them coming. Best of luck, family. Best of luck. And let's get locked in for some good old terror squads for this live cop, baby. Hopefully, you guys all snagged up all those counts. If you guys need more counts, let me know in the chat. We can read them individually if you guys need them one more time. J Val and threes are fire, says Chris. They're they're okay. They're pretty decent, in my opinion. Yeah. Is the Balvin 2 only going to be a draw? Is the Balvin 2 only going to be a draw? Are you talking about the 3s or the 2s? I haven't heard anything about the 2s as for for a while. The 2s, you guys can actually snag them up below retail. Like, if you're talking about the 3s, it should be a draw. It should be a draw. I got a size 12. How much are they going? Question mark. Size 12 should be going for somewhere around 170-ish. A size 12 is going for 174. Around 174. What was the last sale, though? Two... 206 was the last sale, but I doubt it can be at 206 when it's already at 174. So just keep that with uh keep that in mind when you guys are going copping. <laughs> Woo! It's looking slim. It's looking very slim. The overall stock for sneakers app will be 53,000 pairs going down. 53,000 pairs going down. That's what it's looking like for you guys. 53,000 pairs going down. Shout out to the family up in here showing that love and support. Keep them coming, family. If you guys got more questions, here we are. Here we are for them, baby. Let's keep them coming, family. Let's keep them coming. Appreciate you guys for showing that love and support. If you guys are new, ask questions if needed. If you guys are new, please feel welcome and good morning. Happy Saturday. We're going live copping on a Saturday morning like every single week up in here. We go Monday through Saturday nonstop. Let's get it, baby. Let's get some W's up in the chat. Let's get it. So it says, bless you. Thank you, guys. My issue with the Balvin 3s is the 250 price point. The Balvin 3s 250 price point, it is pretty steep, but remember, retail for regular regular air uh for regular regular Air Jordan 1, uh 3s are like 210 for a collaboration. I mean, 30 bucks more doesn't or 40 bucks more doesn't seem too bad. Um but yeah, it, it keep in mind it is a collaboration, so it's supposed to be a little bit more on that uh premium side if I'm not mistaken, right? We'll see, though. We'll definitely see once we get them in hand. Um, see if we're, like, you know, paying, overpaying or whatnot. Obviously, no shoe should be worth 250 in my opinion. But, hey, listen. If you're not copping it, someone else is going to cop them. So, you, you feel me? You feel me? Shout out to Kenny up in here. TS, worth the resale question mark? I wouldn't consider you guys going for these for resale, family. Personal, 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 baby. When they post a restock, the SB Dunk Gum Bottom says empty. They usually tap in with restocks on in your guys' local skate shops. You guys should definitely tap in your local skate shops to see any uh, gum bottoms drop. Join the draw for Polars. Yeah, so join the draw for Polars as well too, family. Polar uh, Polar Blue Dunks are dropping on um, Chic App. Exclusively on Chic App, family. Exclusively on the Chic App. Run it up with Chic App. Let me know what sizes you guys are pending for for the Terra Squad Blackouts real quick. For the one time, drop it in the chat. Blackouts are dropping a left and right on different uh, spots. Shout out to the mods up here, dropping you guys the links up in here. <clears throat> Larissa says, what else is dropping? You guys got just blackouts and uh, polar blue dunks. That's about it. Everything else seems pretty mid in my opinion. <clears throat> People definitely overpay for the Balvin 2s. For the Balvin 2s or the Balvin 3s? Balvin 2s, definitely. Some, some of you guys definitely did overpay that retail price for three hundred was pretty expensive. You guys can get them for under retail now. <laughs> CCS just once uh, sent out uh, sent out emails for gum bottom raffles. That means public raffles in a couple of days at most. Is Bull Rock? Bull Rock, what's up, family? Going to double it and pass Nike and uh, Jordan prices to the next person. So Nitro, that is straight up disrespectful, family. Uh, Christian says size eleven. Pep says, "How old are you, BG?" Um, we're, 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 we're getting up there. 
We're getting up there. Your boy BG is definitely getting up there. Should I drop you guys? Should I drop you guys the number now or later? But your boy BG is definitely in his uh, mid twenties. I went for six point five. I heard Air Force One run big. Um, I went for six point five. I heard Air Force One run big. Yeah, as far as for me, yeah, they definitely do run big on your boy BG as well too. Penning an eleven. I don't think anyone cares about the terror squads. I love says Casper. You sure? I feel like there's a lot of people up in there in New York City that definitely do. That definitely do. Blackouts? Question mark. More like pandas. More like Oreos, Curtis. Let's not use the word panda now. Let's use the word Oreo. I like Oreo better. And bear breaks in case interested. Is anyone going to be going for that Nike Tech bear break that's supposed to drop pretty soon? I think I might go for those Nike Tech bear breaks. <clears throat> Sean, ding, 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 ding. Papito, Sean got it right. Warzone says 10.5. Uh, protagonist, T. West is W on 12. Oh, snap. We're grabbing up Ws right now, man. It's the three-minute mark. It's the three-minute mark, family. Run it, run it, run it. Password page up on Balvin's site. Yes, it's been up since yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. What else is happening right now? These are... Uh, Drop via uh, Sheik. You guys got the crazy A-team oranges and that, like, Syracuse color blocking. Let me know in the chat. If you guys are taking Ws as well, too, if you guys don't mind, if you guys want me to pop you guys up on my IG, the official Instagram, the official BG Kicks, make sure you guys run up and tag me with your Ws, man. I would love to pop you guys up on my story. If you guys don't mind, the official BG Kicks, this is it right here. If you guys do want to follow me up on IG and run it up through that way, uh, let's do BG Kicks. BG Kicks YouTube, and then tap in, family. There's no tap in here. I'll drop you guys this link right here. That's my IG. Drop me your Ws and uh, tag me, and then I'll pop you guys up on my story, man, for sure. For sure. Let us know in the chat if you guys are taking some more dubs real quick. Let me get back to it. Let me get back to it. Ringo TV, what's up, man? W12, let's get it, baby. W on the 12s. We still got sizes available. We got 7.5 through men's 13. 12 and a half is sold out. Let's get it, baby. Trap on says W13. Got him, says Warzone. There we go. The people that bought Trap Scott Air Forces on all white for 160 hating on these, says 302 Civic. Got a W. I went for a half a size too big. I'm pissed, says Clizzy. What size you went for, Clizzy? W13, says Jay Johnson. Boom. Drop the boom emotes. Drop the sneakers at emotes while we're at a strong BG family. Let's run it, run it, run it. BG members, if you guys don't mind, drop the sneakers emails right now real quick for the one time, man, for taking some good old dubs, baby. We got some good old dubs, man. L in a size 15, not surprised. It's very, very limited, man. W10.5, boom. Damn, couldn't help myself after seeing only 2,000 pairs. Penny on a 13, LOL, says Billy 24-7. Listen, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. W in a size 11, but I'm pissed. I wanted 10.5. Let's see if I can go for you right now, then. Let me see real quick. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do right now. I'm going to go for a 10.5 right now. It's 7.05. It's 7.05. I'm going to go for a 10.5 right now. All right? This is the show. This is the show that you guys can tap in late and still take a W. It's not about being first. It's about just getting that entry in there. All right? Okay, there we go. My Apple, went, my Apple Pay went through, and it says you're in line. All right? You're online and checking availability. All right, that's what it's looking like right now. And I'm pending right now. Let's see what the vibes are with that one. Oh my gosh, that was the quickest L of all time for your boy. That's it. It just kicked me right out. It said, didn't get it. Nike Air Force One sold out in your size. Please select a different size. That's what it's looking like right now. Men's 8 seems to be the only size available for your boy BG. Has anyone else seen that? Hard pass. Got him. Size 13. I need that 10.5, not this 11. Got the dub size 12. Let's go. I tried for you, Clizzy. I literally just now I tried for you. That was going to be your assist right there. Bro, the people who bought the Travis ones don't even know who Fat Joe is. His parents probably used to lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, family. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably one of those kids. I'm probably one of those kids, man. They gone. DSD says W9.5. Boom. Crandon Dallas says got him. Boom. Justo says I went so fast. Yeah, that three-minute mark goes crazy quick for you guys, huh? W on the Terror Squads and also going to the mall for some Pokemon Skateboard release party today. Let's freaking get it, baby. 
Let's freaking get it. JoJo Dance says, no look pass. Shout out to JoJo up in the building. Shout out to Chris for dropping the sneakers emote, baby. SK says he took an L. Um, who else? Tenshu with the shock drop BG membership up in there. Who snagged him up? Jeffrey, welcome to the BG family once again. And Jeffrey is now entered up for any BG membership shock drop giveaways. You feel me? And we should be doing a giveaway by the end of this month. So everyone that has a highlight name and a badge, you guys are automatically entered up for a freaking giveaway entry. So let's freaking run it up. And for those that don't know, the longer you guys stay as a BG member, the more entries you guys will receive for the raffles for the shock drop giveaway. So make sure you guys run it up that way. And Tenshu again with a BG membership shock drop right there and there. Who snagged it up? Christian snagged it up. Welcome back to the family. Christian up in the building. Say what's up in the chat with your highlight name and freaking badge. Let's freaking get it. Like I said before, family, we will be doing a giveaway by the end of this month once again. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We will drop you guys a community tab with all the information for BG members to tap in with. Shout out to all the members. Shout out to all the family up in here. Man, I appreciate you guys. And let's keep on coming out at Strong War the freaking W's. Let's get it. Let's get it. And on my side, it says that they're sold out. Let me know in the chat if you guys see it on your side too. Shout out to Tenshu. Can you guys please say thank you, Tenshu, for those that got the dubs on a shock drop giveaway of a shock drop membership, I should say. Got them in a 10.5. Boom. Size 7.5 for me. Let's go. But people will go for off-white Air Force Ones and say they need them. Shake my head, says Clizzy. Yeah, that's that's me too, Clizzy. I'm not going to lie. When it comes down to off-white Air Forces, there's just something about them, man. Something about that Virgil touch that just makes him special, bro. Not gonna lie. Something that Virgil did did to us with those Air Forces make him special. Uh, Jing got kick says, got him. Boom. Do you think the Polar Blue Dunks will be an easy cop? King Draco, I'm not gonna lie. Um, with the amount of resell, it should be easier than it was before, I feel like. So I don't know if it's gonna be too much of a tough cop. Um, it's still a great color blocking, um, but it's definitely going to be easier than it would be bef like how it was before. So I, I think there's hope. I think there's definitely hope to take a W for today on Cheek if you guys are aiming for it. Size 12, Cop Terror Squad. Boom! Wilson says, I have um, I hit a 10.5 and 11, but canceled once, says Wilson. I'm going to just take my W and chill. Wish I went for a 10.5, though, says Clizzy. Hey, listen, it was meant to be with that 11, man. It was meant to be for that 11. You took that dub. Be great for that, Clizzy. I'm telling you. There's some people that took an L on that 11. They're feeling pissed that you took their 11. Feel grateful for that one right there, man. What's up, BG fam? Uh, what's up, BG and fam? Tried just now, but uh, got an L. No worries. I'm going for the SBs and J Balance next week. You're the only one live. Smart, says Sugar Shane. Um, it's not being smart, man. Even if I am the only one or if there's people coming at it strong, Sugar Shane, you guys do know we go live Monday through Saturday up in here without no stopping family. 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, no matter what time it is, we still going live. You guys do know we're going at it strong away from home, studio, NYC. We're here in Oregon right now. We're here in Beaverton, Oregon, so we're tapping in with family. We're doing business trips and all that good good, so... Um, yeah, it's definitely a struggle waking up at four o'clock, even on a Saturday, but guess what? We're making it happen because the grind does not stop, family. Let's freaking get it. Sugar Chain, any dubs on your side? Let us know in the chat, baby. After 12 months, finally, the doc has been here for a year. Shout out to Doc Seuss up in the building for not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, but freaking 12 months, a year with the BG family, man. That's commitment, that's support, that's an OG Thank you so much, Doc Seuss. I love you, man. I appreciate you. And shout out to Doc Seuss up in the building for always for always supporting, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Sometimes, man, it's just overwhelming. Like, the amount of support that I get is overwhelming. It gets me all teary, man. Dude, it's amazing. It's a freaking amazing. Um, Larissa says, what website do I cop on? Says Larissa. For what, Larissa? Doug says, hit for four total pairs. How long for Sheik to draw? That's a great question. For Sheik, it's a little bit iffy, fam. I can't tell you guys for sure what time frame does she draw does their draws. Like I'd be feeling like they'd be on the glitchy side. Polo blues are not sitting, says Chosen C. Oh, Chosen One C. I cannot believe these sold out. Sugar Shane says, get it. Chosen Polar are in store sitting. Nice. So you guys better be tapping on your stores if they are sitting. Because I know on my side they're not sitting. I know polar blues will definitely not be sitting on my side. So if you guys have polar blues sitting on your side, snag them up. Snag them up while you guys can. 
Yo, hit for a nine and a ten. What you think about these resale value in the future? Phase, great question. On that, like I said before, as of right now, dude, I don't see them being a long term investment like that. Um, other than something going on, other than something going down with the passing, I do not see these going up. I do not see these going up like that. So just give me guys a heads up. There's about 50,000 pairs that went live. We got the stocky stock right here for you guys, like 53,000. Um, even with that, the stock, the uh, the resale market is not looking too high. So it seems something about these are not gravitating towards everyone. So I wouldn't consider it being a great hold. I wouldn't. I would not. But yeah, family, I don't want to bring up the passing point, but that's the only way I could really see these happening. And God forbid anything go down. I'm not trying that. I tried going for someone in the chat. I took an L on that, but it is what it is on that. It seemed like they sold out, though. Is there any other spots other than sneakers app that they dropped that are still available? Maybe someone that can drop the link in the chat. Maybe one of our mods can drop the link so you guys can get the uh, the assist. No resell. Nobody rocking these, says Tayway. Uh, <clears throat> Go in store to finish line in JD, says Sugar Shane. And I agree. There's actually been a lot of JD and finish lines that have been having the full of booze, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. They're already going up on StockX as King Draco. But here's the thing. That's the typical thing that goes down on stocky, uh, on stocky stock, man. Here's the thing. So once we do see them in hand, there's going to be a lot of people are going to be selling them and letting them go for under what they're at. So this is this is normal. This is what we see. If you guys are snagging them up right now, I would consider you guys letting them go right now so you guys can get some good old 50 to 40 bucks profit. I would guarantee you guys right now, this would be your best chance at letting go of those terror squads without losing up on money. Sell them today, pre-sell them. You guys know how to pre-sell. You guys go on eBay, pop them up as a listing and let them go within the next hour or so. I guarantee you guys will be, you know, locking in with some guaranteed, with some guaranteed profit because if you guys hold on to these after a while, people are gonna forget about these terror squads and then just, yeah, they're just gonna be a basic Air Force One that people are gonna forget. So just run it up right now while you guys can. If you guys did cop, if you guys have plans on investing, I would say quick sell. Quick sell these bad boys right now while they're going up just a tiny bit because I don't see them staying around this price tag. I don't. That's my prediction. Though. I could be wrong, but you, you guys can let me know. <clears throat> Daytona, what's going on, family? How do you sell when not in hand eBay? eBay would be the way to go, family. Make sure you guys uh, run up an eBay account and let them go right there within the same day. <clears throat> I disagree, Stalin. I would not do that. Do what you want, though, of course. Yeah, exactly. If you guys don't consider that being the right move, then do do as you guys please. But that's my prediction. That's my that's my prediction. That's my opinion. You feel me? But uh, they are fire unlimited. Why would they go up? Dot dot dot. Lol. Says Curtis. Need a ten. Says Kenneth Anyone else? Let me know in the chat. Twenty nine point ninety five shipping on Chic. What the hecky heck? That's too much. 25 bucks on Sheik is crazy, man. Might as well just pay resale at that point. Might as well pay resale at that point. <laughs> Let me see. Daytona says, where my twin at? It's just me and my twin and I'm doing, doing, go best friend. I don't think they'll brick too limited, says Clizzy. I'm not saying they're going to brick. I'm just saying if you guys, I don't think they're going to go below retail. But I think you guys are going to be making even. You guys are going to be making even if you guys don't sell by by today or like early your your pairs before they get delivered. I think they're going to be dipping down just a tiny bit. Not saying they're going to be bricking. If if anything, I feel like they're already bricked. They already bricked wherever they were at before in retail. I think they're already at that that type of vibe. That. But I don't think they're going to go below retail. But I think you guys will be making yeah. Okay, let me see real quick. Is that it? 50K stock is a lot. 50K stock is not a lot though, fam. I feel like 100K stock is decent and I still don't consider that a lot, right fam? Is 100K stock a lot when they drop the uh, these type of drops? 50K to me is nothing. 50K to me is nothing. If you guys break it down, come on, less than 10,000 per, per size is not a lot, family. What are the odds of you guys hitting on that when there's like millions of people trying to snag up at one pair 
I said millions, but like thousands and thousands of kids, resellers, OGs, collectors, all that, man, trying to go for at least one pair, bro. That, that doesn't seem like a lot, man. I don't seem too confident with that size 10.5 only being around 6,000. 6,000 people were only able to snag these up. Less than 6,000 people were only able to snag up that 10.5 today. Like, I don't seem too confident. That's not too confident, man. I'm not too confident with that. They go for 160 in Japan on the resale market. Uh, so Lost Star says, a real sneaker is a collector who, um, a collector one who uh, knows and collects sneakers and needs to have certain shoes in the collection in the club. Fat Joe sneaker is going to be a classic, says Sella. Shout out to Sella Star. Um, these are 101, the same as they gave Joe, uh, Joe only back in the day. I love these and a huge rap fam in the 90s and 2000s. So even if not resale value, definitely a rock for the toe and nostalgia. Sounds like a real sneakerhead just by stories and other folks' uh, favorites. Um, size 12.5 is crazy. Size 12.5, yeah, 384 is nothing, right? Carl says just caught the size 8. Nice, congratulations on that family. Congrats to all who caught. Congrats to all who caught family. But fam, I think that's pretty much it for your boy and uh, today's stream family. There's not much going down for top of the hour. It was just for... Uh, Terra squads, and I think it might have been what the uh, yeah, the polar blues. Other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go for today's Saturday morning stream. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. We were live for what a good two hours and some change, as usual. Please, if you guys are new up in here, please make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon for more shock drop alerts, restock alerts, and flat out initial releases like how we did today. We go live Monday through Saturday, each and every single morning, and sometimes afternoon to cover what's dropping as a shock drop or what's dropping the following day. So, make sure you guys stay tuned with that. If you guys do want to tap in with your boy BG online, the official BG Kicks is his Instagram. So, make sure you guys tap in. That's your boy BG. This is my only Instagram. Instagram, so make sure you guys tap in with us right then and there. NYC based sneaker enthusiasts, let's get some W's together, baby. I go by the name of BG Kicks family. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. It's been a hell of a freaking week, and I hope you guys enjoy your rest of your Saturday and Sunday. We'll see you guys back on Monday morning for our sneaker heating up week type of vibe, type of situation. Enjoy. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace. Love you guys. Enjoy the outro, okay? Crazy. Crazy.